Hello, friends. Welcome in. How are you today? I hope you are having a fantastic, fantastic day. Also, <laughs> you will see that... Uh, <laughs> that should work. Yeah, the cursed emote is there. It is, it is there now. Um, all right, let me... Uh, wait, where did this go? There it is. Um, <clears throat> let me... <laughs> It'll only be around for a limited time. I don't know how long we can... <laughs> how long we can look at that. Uh, it's, it's a little much, maybe. And if you, if you can't see the inspiration... It's that. <laughs> it's that. Um... So, uh, all right, but I love how cursed it is. It, it is that. Uh, let me just double check that most things are working. I, I have to tell you guys some stuff. <laughs> uh, and then we will begin. All right. Uh, okay, I think we should be good to go-ish. Everything? I think so. All right, let's go ahead and move on over. Hello, everybody. How are you today? Let's start the fishing. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, so, uh, one, let me welcome everyone in because I forgot to do that. <laughs> uh, Sassy, welcome in, Sassy. How are you? How's it going? How's the new car? Gilmore, hello, welcome in. How are you? Uh, Brad, welcome in. How's it going? I never figured out what the sound actually was, so this is helpful. It's a funny clip. It's a funny clip. Um, Val, welcome in. How's it going? Joss, welcome in. How are you? How's everyone's day? How how are you? How are you all going? Let's see, I say hello to everybody. Abby, welcome in. Hello, how's it going? Scriggle. The new car is amazing! Excellent. Did you do donuts in the parking lot? Like we all suggested. Uh, okay, you're doing good, doing pretty good. Um, so, I saw, I did see a better pick of it in the Discord. Also, Brad, I, I'm glad that you appreciate the GIF that I posted. Uh, I also felt <laughs> like it was a very good, uh, uh, a very good, um, GIF for today, because today we are not playing Final Fantasy. I know. I'm kind of sad, but it's okay. We're going to switch it up. We need to switch it up. Um, uh, we're, today we're playing a game called King of the Bridge, which is like a... <laughs> yeah, man, I know. That's how I feel. Uh, today we're playing a game called King of the Bridge. It's a new indie game uh, that's like a chess-like, sort of. But it's it's more of like a puzzle-ish type game, because it's not really chess. It's like chess, but all the rules are completely made up. So there are the pieces, the same pieces, I think, but it's just nonsense. So we'll we'll kind of see how it goes. I I, I don't think it's a particularly long game, so we should be able to finish it today. Uh, but Yemet, how are you? I did actually, I, I will say, I played a little bit of Final Fantasy VII after the stream. Um, and I, uh, I just beat the same Quetzalcoatl boss over and over again. That's all I did. So I leveled up twice, um, but I, so I didn't do anything besides that, but, but we had beaten it on stream. So I thought, you know what? I can play it again. <laughs> I, can, I can fight him again. It's fine. You guys didn't miss anything. Um, what? I know. I just look, <laughs> I was testing things. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, <laughs> my day was, oh boy. Oh no. What happened, Sassy? Doing good? What you played without the stream? How dare you? No, but we, we had already beaten Quetzalcoatl on, on stream, and I said, we can we can play him again <laughs> off stream. I can fight him again. I need to practice. I need to practice those synergy abilities. Um, and so, I, yeah, I, I leveled up twice. <laughs> Just from... Oh, I need to make that go away. Just from repeatedly... Um, Fighting him. I fought him maybe four times. That's actually like not bad. <laughs> for he he gave a lot of XP. Uh so I I was like, you know what? Let's let's do that again. 
So, while you guys are telling me about your days and stuff, I did a thing and maybe have messed everything up. Uh, but we, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so I downgraded my operating system. What you guys are on right now? Downgraded operating system. Uh, so I am now in, let's see, Monterey. I think we're on Mac OS Monterey. Um, because I was on S Ventura. I think I was on B Ventura. I think that's that's the last one that my computer can handle. I think Sonoma is the. That OS sounds made up. I know. Uh, Sonoma, I think is. Or wait. Yeah, Sonoma is the most recent one, but my my Mac can't handle it, so I can't upgrade to it. Um, Ventura, I think, is what I was on, and then I I downgraded to Monterey. So, um, uh, I thought maybe it's that. And I mean, so far, ooh, you got a car. I love it. Uh, <laughs> so far, the camera's acting okay. I will say though, as soon as I sat down for stream, it said encoding overloaded. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna see if this did actually fix anything. Um, but right now, the camera's looking good, which is what we want. So maybe it's worth it. I will say a downside. Well, okay, two things. I do need a new Mac, <laughs> yeah, man, I really do. Um, so two things. One, when I started up OBS, uh, I, I did a time machine backup for the Mac people, you know what that is, for the other people you don't know what that is. I did a time machine backup, uh, and so then when I reinstalled the OS, I put everything back. It just like makes it really easy so that it copies it basically takes a picture of everything on your system and then when you reload it if you need to like if your hard drive crashes or whatever it puts everything back in exactly the same way all the settings are the same so you don't have to like reinitialize anything maybe you just have to give a couple of permissions to things but like for the most part it's like it's like everything was back to normal um so i did that um and <laughs> when i started obs oh my camera just froze it's making things aren't better um so <laughs> Uh, when I restarted OBS, my camera was flipped upside down. Uh, no idea why. So then I fixed it in OBS, and then when I started it today, it was upside down again, so it was corrected. So I had to un-upside down it. Um, no idea why. Uh, also, this version of OBS on... Well, I'm using the most up-to-date version of OBS, but on this version of Mac's operating system, it does not allow innate like audio capture so you might be wondering how are you listening to music then uh we are listening to music because i had to then when i realized that i had to download a game chops album and so we're just listening to that i imported it into obs that's why it took a little bit longer uh than the hour i said uh it was because of that so we're it's good it's only this one chill wave zelda album it's gonna be on loop <laughs> Um, so, but I can't capture Spotify's audio. Um, uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're at now. <laughs> um, so I, I might have to go back and like before I used to use a set, I used to use a third party. Oh, that was a big jump. Um, I had to use a third party, um, audio capture software in order to get Spotify. So I might have to go back into that, but we're going to keep an eye on everything. See how, how things look. Because, I mean, for the most part, if my camera stays clear, then I'm okay with it. If it doesn't, then we can go back to the most up-to-date one. <laughs> but but I do agree, Yemet, I do need just a new Mac. Because I, it's, it, I think it's... I mean, part of it could just be that I'm not on the like most up-to-date software. Who knows? Uh, I've already when I opened up Photoshop earlier day earlier today for work, it was like it gave me a warning message, which was like you're on a really old software. It works better if you're using the most up to date. But who are you to say, Adobe? <laughs> who are you to say? Um, Monterey, great song by the Milk Carton Kids. Never heard of them. Let's see. I'm so glad that I've done my. Uh, I'm. 
uh, done my gaming chair today because obviously I've got a new one today. Oh, got my old one, which is my old gaming chair and sorted out as well. So I'm all up to date. Nice. That's very good. I'm glad that you're enjoying your new chair, Abby. Maybe I've just been watching too much of people playing Software Inc. though. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've never, I've never watched, or I've never ever played or watched anyone play Software Inc. Um, the third, wait, where'd he go? Three third graders got in a fight during recess, two against one. A fifth grader slipped on someone's coat at recess, fell, hit her head on the pavement, scraping her face and chipping a tooth. Oh no. And some fourth graders started shoving each other in the hallway until one got a cut on their arm. Yee, sassy. Smart third graders to gang up on one kid. They're third partying. Um, Sassy, see, maybe had you done donuts in the parking lot, um, they would have admired, they would have, they would admire and respect you. And so then they'd be like, wow, our, our teacher is like, you know, she's like a Tokyo drifter. And then, and then, uh, they wouldn't fight. Maybe that's, maybe that's the lesson here. <laughs> Something better and off-brand, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look, we're sticking with Max. We we have to. We must. We must. My software, everything else that I've bought and owned, it works for Max. It's just OBS. OBS isn't like this. And maybe it's also because, I mean, my machine is a little old, but it's it's been running fine in the past. Now it hasn't given me another encoding overloaded, so we're gonna just see how things go. We'll, we'll give it a, uh, uh, it did, we've been playing it. <laughs> we've been playing it for the past three streams. Um, so yes, it did, it did arrive. Uh, all I have to do is tell them I understand their game lingo and they are in awe, oh, that's true. You should just talk Fortnite with them or something. Um, That's what the kids play, I think. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna we'll keep an eye on it. We'll see how things go, uh, and then either if things do not improve, uh, <laughs> uh, then we will. I'll just upgrade again or downgrade. I could downgrade to another one. I could see if that works. I think when I started streaming, we were on Big Sewer. Uh. Granted, I mean, we had our own problems back then, <laughs> but there was, there was like a time, there was a place in time where everything worked. Maybe I should downgrade my OBS. Maybe I should see if 20, so this is 30, OBS 30. Maybe you should see if 29 works with audio capture. I should see, I should test that out. We will, I'll test that out later. Very interesting. Good thoughts, Jeff. Good thoughts. I will do that. Um, because if we can find just like the perfect combo of OBS, Mac software, my camera working, audio playing, everything works fine. I would love that. I would love to not have to be like, man, I wish my <laughs> pods welcome in. I wish my stream would, you know, would just work. Oh, Pons, how are you? I have, hold on, I have to fish out, uh, I have to fish out a couple of images. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. It did reorient all of my download folder and I downloaded a couple of images and I was like, I need to show Opons this whenever he comes in next. How, but how are you? While I find these, I do. Had better days? No! I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, what is going on? That didn't work. Maybe, did I favorite this? Um, I hope things improve for you. Needing a new laptop makes me anxious. I'm assuming it made for you too. I mean, it's, it's more that, like, I want stream to look good. Um, and, uh, for a lot of reasons. There we go. Okay, actually, I don't need to re-download it because I found it again. 
Um, I want stream to look good for a lot of reasons. One, because I think it's it's good. That stream looks good. Um, like, people will like it more if it's not like... Especially if you're, like, invested in a game. Oops. Especially if you're invested in a game. Um, you know, you want it to be smooth and, and all of that. So, like... Um, okay. Uh... We're the, okay, yeah, here, here we go. Um, okay, oh, bounce, I found it. So, like, I want things to, to be good. I, I like things to be of high quality, and so if it's not, then it's it's a bit of a bummer. Um, just had a lot of my coworkers get laid off in a round of uh, cuts. No! So, okay. Are the cuts over? I hope, I, I, I thought it was all over. I thought it was all done. And that is the worst Oponce, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that is no, I'm sure it does not improve morale when that, when that happens. No, it's not, yeah. Weird. Yeah, I thought that was like, I mean, cause you hear about it, you know, on, gaming sites and stuff and it always makes it sound like and it's been done <laughs> and, and and it is completed so i'm sorry that that's still going that is no fun i was so i was so pumped to work today no. nope that's such a bummer i'm sorry opons i feel like i don't know i mean obviously you can't oh this is a new one Obviously can't answer it, but I'm like, what is going on over there? <laughs> you guys need people to work. So <laughs> how how does this how does this work? Well, Opons, this might cheer you up, maybe. So uh <laughs> uh I saw cause you mentioned you sent to me the other day the whole Overwatch uh and Cowboy Bebop crossover stuff. Um Well uh, I, I saw images of it, <laughs> and I'm sort of like, well, okay. <laughs> I'm okay with not playing Overwatch, but okay, so this was what they, they showed on, like, the little trailer. Uh, I actually don't know who this character is. Uh, like, I mean, it's supposed to be Spike, but I don't know who, like, the Overwatch character is. But then they showed this. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, that's McCree? Is this McCree? <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Uh, I mean, that hair, the hair. I also, I think that, oh, that would make sense. A lot of people were like, why doesn't he, why isn't he wearing the hat? Because he doesn't wear the hat in the game. Because like, McCree does wear a hat. He's like a cowboy. Um, But yeah, <laughs> there, there's something about it that just, I think, he sort of, I don't know. There's just, it's something doesn't look right. But I, someone said in response to this. <laughs> that's not Spike Spiegel, that's Spork Spencer. <laughs> and that made, <laughs> that made me laugh. Uh, <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite a lot. And, 100% for sure, yeah. It, that is definitely Spork Spencer. Uh, Cowboyish for sure, yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense because uh, Spike is often referred to as a space cowboy. But, like, there's something about it that, yeah, it just doesn't really look right. I, th I don't know if maybe it's because McCree is a little bit, like, more muscular, maybe. And so, like, where Spike is also, he's very, like, lithe. He's very, Spike is drawn very like, it's much smaller. So I don't know. I feel like that's maybe part of it is, is it just looks odd, I guess, seeing that outfit. But, but it's just something else. I don't know. It just, I, I, it doesn't look super great. I've heard some of the other ones look okay. I think everyone says that Faze looks the best and then the rest are sort of meh, but. Yes, Spike's body is closer to Apex's Octane. Agreed. Big agree. Uh, he, he's like... He, he is 
fit, but is not like, he doesn't have large muscles, I guess. Um, so, I don't know. It, it just looks, also the hair is, it is odd. It doesn't quite fit. It, it doesn't even look quite like the illustration. And I feel like they made the, the opening very much look like Spike. And so like these two people look incredibly different, <laughs> right? Like the character model uh, for in game, you can't see my hand, but I'm pointing down. The character model looks very different from the the like, they, obviously they were like, let's make the characters look like the Cowboy Bebop characters. Um, less so the, uh, the, um, in-game models. Evers, welcome in, Evers, how are you? Uh, so anyway, I saw that, and are those two supposed to be the same? <laughs> These are the same. So that's in-game. This is Overwatch Spike Spiegel, and that was the one that they made for the Overwatch, like, trailer, Overwatch X Cowboy Bebop trailer. Uh, and so that's why I was, I was just telling you, it's like, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm, I don't feel like I'm missing out, really. I, the only one I would want, I mean, I actually haven't seen who Jet is and if Jet if even looks good, but his outfit's very, like, nondescript, I feel like. His isn't as iconic as the rest of theirs, so uh, I, don't, I don't feel as, I probably wouldn't get a Jet, uh, it's confusing because there's a character named Jet and, Val and Cowboy Bebop, um, but I, I probably wouldn't buy a, a Jet skin. But I definitely go for Spike. But that one, I'm like, eh. Eh. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I would share. But the the comment that's not Spike's vehicle, that's Spork Spencer. It made me laugh quite a lot when I <laughs> when I saw that. Um, but uh, yeah. So what else is going on? Uh, one, by the way, Steam sale tomorrow. Steam Spring sale begins tomorrow. Get your wallets prepared. Uh, <laughs> sadly, yes. Uh, <laughs> it just doesn't fit right. Alrighty. Um, oh, here's here it is. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Oops. Here's uh, Emmers just sent me. So one, uh, whatever the hamster's name, that's Ein. Uh, that's supposed to be Ein. It looks kind of cursed. I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. This is, hold on. <laughs> hold on. We'll skip to this in a second. That it looks. For, uh, it's supposed to be. A ha it's normally a hamster-looking creature. It's a. Uh, they're making him look like a corgi. Cursed, you say? Yeah. <laughs> it, for some reason, I find that that looks very cursed to me. It's maybe also the, like, completely black eyes. I think that maybe does it as well. Um, that's my opinion, though. Sent you a more zoomed-in bit. Oh, perfect. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, here, here is all of the models. Uh, Jet looks okay. I don't know who. What character is that? I have no idea who that is. Uh, uh, Jet looks okay. He doesn't seem like a character I would play. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'll pro. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, so I, I wouldn't buy it. Uh, Ed. Doomfist. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have definitely heard that. I thought Roadhog. I could kind of see that, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Doomfist. Makes sense, because the arm. Um, Ed, it's definitely like a, a, a reinterpretation of Ed, for sure. Uh, it's not quite, but I'm sure maybe they did that just to match the characters, like silhouette maybe spike I, for some spike even in this picture looks 
doesn't look real. <laughs> it doesn't, since they don't have anyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense that they're like, okay, this is sort of Eddish. For some reason, Spike looks doesn't fit the rest of them, in my opinion. Um, Faze looks okay. I think the hair looks weird for some reason. But uh, I, she does probably look the best out of all of them. They got as MAGA. You're making that up. Oh, that is a character. <laughs> what do you know? Wait, what, you think it'd be Doomfist though, because uh, the arm, it doesn't Doomfist have like a metal arm? Doomfist. <laughs> yeah, he does, you would think. You, you would think, it would, it would because, has, because Jet has a metal arm, but he does. <laughs> wow. Is it backwards day? <laughs> Anyway, I still stand. I feel like the Spike skin looks odd. I probably wouldn't have have gone gone for it. Why does every like every Cowboy Bebop thing outside of the original show? Why does it always? Why is it always like not quite there? In my opinion, I feel like it's just there's something. Something about Cowboy Bebop. There's so much potential, and yet. Um, gotta go find a bunch of games to put on my wish list, yeah. I, I don't have, um, uh, I, there's a few games that if it's on good sale, I'll, I'll buy, uh, but otherwise I'll probably just wait. But the funniest tweet I saw was, if you told yourself uh, Overwatch was making a crossover with Cowboy, Cowboy Bebop and not Fortnite, and all the internets would be mad. Yeah, for sure. Nobody would believe you. That, <laughs> that is also true. Cowboy Bebop and Fortnite, it, obviously they would just they would just import the characters like they've done with like, it'd be a, a pretty much a one for one. Um, which, you know, I don't really play Fortnite, so I, you know, I don't have an investment in it, but. Um, it'd be, yeah, it'd be the exact models like they've done with Naruto and uh, other anime characters who would be you know it would look exactly like them and that's i mean that's obviously the struggle with then like when apex does a thing or overwatch or whatever it's like they're trying to make the models fit the characters and the silhouettes and all that so that you're working within some kind of limitation already oh fortnite um Anyway, <clears throat> why why we are stuck with the models we have? Yeah, I mean it makes sense. Like it makes sense why, because you don't want the characters to look too crazy, too different, or people are not going to know who they're fighting against and, and all of that. So it makes it makes sense to me, um, and it's probably for the better of the game that you know those are there. I did like a lot of the uh, Final Fantasy skins that they did. I thought for for Apex, I thought they were like well within the uh, like looks like the characters, but also um, fits the the models of, that are normally in the game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, as well. Yeah, the anime event as well, where like you had Watson as Naruto and all of that. I thought that was very good. Um, so yeah, I'm, and I hope they do more. I want, I want more, more. Also, just more, more Mirage skins, please. Um, but uh, yeah, so spring sale. I wish we had. Uh, we. Oh gosh, yes. I, I'm mad that Mirage did not get a skin during the Final Fantasy VII event. But if they do it again, he, he should be Sid, maybe. Or Kate Sith, or something. Kate Sith would be amazing. Kate Sith Mirage. Uh, <laughs> it would make sense if he was Sid, but I I love the goofy skins for for Mirage. Um, also, I can't wait to see Kate Sith in Rebirth. Uh, it'll be very fun. The people who don't know Final Fantasy VII will be very confused, but it'll be for the best. Sassy, let's see what you get. Ooh, let's 
skateboard, skateboard, nice. Um, so yeah, Steam sale starts tomorrow. Um, I'll be, there are a few games that I'm like, all right, let's, let's see what you got. I'm very curious. Uh, I think I've spent like 200,000 channel points. I love it. I love it. You have 15,000 gold now. Um, uh, what else? Um, yeah, a few games I'll, I'll see if, if they go on sale. There's an Agatha Christie game that I'm hoping will be sort of cheap. Um, uh, there's another game that I added recently that I was like, that would be fun. Um, I did see, by the way, I thought this was really cool. And Opons, you might find this interesting. Uh, let me see what the name of the game is. It's a Wired Productions game. Uh, Wired, yeah. There's a game coming out called Bulwark Falconeer Chronicles. Look that up. Ooh, three-star copy cup. Bulwark. Falconeer Chronicles. Um, is it out? It, okay, so did it? No, it's not out. It comes out on the 26th of this month. What is it? It's a city builder combat strategy minimalist 3D game. Those are just the tags that I read out. Uh, uh, it's an open world builder with freedom and expression at its core, allowing players to build sprawling towns, spires, and fortresses that become hubs for trade or rallying grounds for conquest. Neat. It looks neat. Uh, one of the things that is super cool about it, uh, a neat feature that would actually be, I would be down for more games doing this. Um, for people streaming, it's going to have a built-in, uh, like, VTuber, sort of. Or not really, not VTuber, but for the lack of, uh, I, I can't think of the right word, but like an avatar that responds to your mic. So like, uh, uh, there's a, Uh, I wish I could show you this. Basically, there is like a little bubble that appears on the on like the bottom corner of the screen. That uh, if you have your mic connected, the uh, you can like one. It has a character creator, so you create your character, and then your character exists in a little bubble on the side of the screen. Uh, and if you have your mic connected. Uh, the character's mouth and stuff will move to yours, which I think is awesome. I thought like, and it looks cool because then you fit sort of also like the theme of the game and stuff. And it looks really neat. I would love more games to have that. I think it's super cool. Plus, I assume by them doing that, that also keeps like a lot of the extra like UI elements out of the way of that, of that area. And I think that's dope. I, I think I would love more games to do that. Uh, I've been doing so well lately with not having a second cup of coffee after work, but today was just too much. I needed the comfort of coffee after a day like this one. It's always it's always okay for more more coffee. And Colin, welcome in. How's it going? We love a good coffee day. Um, what else have you guys been up to? Uh, we'll we'll start the game probably in like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I saw that Square has been talking about uh, maybe expanding. Uh, Queen's Blood, which is the card game that's in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They said that, uh, oh gosh, there's like a hundred and something cards in game, uh, but they said they might either like, well, they weren't specific. They just said expanding Queen's Blood. Could mean there will be like a dedicated mode for it um, in game, or they release some kind of separate release for it. I don't know if I would purchase it but it seems kind of fun 
I assume if they did that, they would have to add some kind of online component. I would think. But it seems like that would be a type of game where there's like, well, I mean, there is RNG. But you'd think there would be like a very, these are the best cards. You're going to win every time if you, you use this, but I don't know. It's going pretty well. I'm going on vacation about a week from now. Oh, that's so fun. Where, where are you headed off to? Uh, bets on them releasing actual cards. I mean, they probably, I would not be surprised. Uh, I think they've released like four, like actually four, seven rebirth. They released, uh, well, no, these might be digital cards actually, but they released some kind of just like character cards that aren't like a game, but it's just like collectible cards. So they, they've been in the, the card printing for a bit. So it probably wouldn't be too far off of them. Like, actually just releasing packs and stuff and trying to see if they can make it a, a card card game. I wouldn't be surprised. Square likes to try weird things to make money, so <laughs> they, I wouldn't be surprised if they went all in, went bankrupt, and then uh, you know. Oh, going to Disney! Hey, that's awesome. Well, I hope you have fun. I hope you have a lot of fun. Um, sea of Stars. I don't know if you guys know that game. Um, I would like to play Sea of Stars at some point, but it is a, um, uh, like Chrono Trigger type game. It's sort of like an RPG made to look like a, a SNES Super Nintendo style game. Um, or at least very inspired by the era of RPG games. Uh, it looks like they are teasing that they're going to introduce a three-player co-op, couch co-op, like, version of the game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That square guy making all the money on games. That'd be amazing. <laughs> that'd, make, that'd be amazing. Um, <laughs> uh, so that would be interesting. It is. It, it does sound like it would be couch co-op only, so that wouldn't be something that I would experience, but it's neat. It's a neat idea to have like, uh, cause I think you walk around with three people in your party for the most part in the game. So you would be able to like, um, uh, be able to play with your friends and they would each control a character walking around. I think that's, that's fun. I wonder how combat will work because it's still turn-based. So it, it sounds like it'd be slower, but I don't know, maybe, maybe not. You'd still have to strategize a bit probably. Um, but, uh, I'm trying to think, um, if there's anything else that's really been going on. Not particularly. The biggest thing was me trying all of the, this OBS stuff. Feel like it's running okay? No, I, as I say that, it freezes. <laughs> yeah, as I say that, it, everything froze. So... <laughs> I guess it's not this. Uh, again, we're here. Here's what we'll do tomorrow. I'm gonna try downgrading my OBS to 29. Maybe 30 doesn't run as well here. So we'll try 29, uh, uh, version 29. Um, and uh, see how that works. For those that don't know, I downgraded my operating system yesterday to see if, if things ran smoother. Overall, my camera seems better. We're not getting any more encoding overloaded, even though we got it at the very beginning of stream, but maybe it's just because the stream was starting up. It just didn't know what was happening. OBS was still waking up. Um, so we'll see. Um, it is freezing less than yesterday. What is, what is the temperature over there? It is still about the same. We're gonna be in the 20s and 30s for the next couple weeks. Oh, you mean my camera is freezing less than yesterday. I thought you were talking about. <laughs> I was like, what a strange way to say it. <laughs> it's warmer where you're at. <laughs> it is freezing less than yesterday. I was like, interesting. Okay. <laughs> but it is warmer IRL too. Incredible. <laughs> I'm just going to start saying that now when it gets warmer. It's freezing less than yesterday. It's even warmer than it was yesterday for me. It's just under 70. Yay! 
Sheesh. <laughs> Reading comprehension. Um, <clears throat> uh, but yeah, it, it is freezing less. Um, the We'll have to see. Also, yesterday we were getting an issue where the audio was cutting out on the game. So, part of me, we'll, we'll have to see how that works. That's working. Uh, I don't, if that's not working, I don't know what that is. It just started happening randomly. Um, it's gonna be 50 the rest of the week. Ah, we hit 65 here today. Yeesh, you guys are in summertime. I love when it's freezing less outside. Yeah. <laughs> see, I want it to be freezing more outside. But alas, I'll have to wait. Till next, next, well, not next year, but later in the year. Uh, <laughs> uh, gosh. Also, Emmers, I'll have to send you, I'll post some, some, um, uh, some fan art I saw. I'll post it in the Discord, but it was for the most recent, uh, Like a Dragon game. Uh, but it's all the characters as Animal Crossing characters. I was like, I don't know who any of these people are, <laughs> but, uh, but, I, but I saved it because I was like, this looks super adorable. Maybe one day I'll know who these characters are. Um, <clears throat> uh, what else? I didn't really see much else going on. Then again, I've been trying to get everything ready for stream, trying to test out some stuff, so I didn't have as much time to, like, to news. My car has a really neat feature <clears throat> where I can set the AC or heat to go to just the driver so I no longer have to manually close all the vents. Oh, nice. That's super cool. What, what year is the vehicle? Can't forget to fish. It's true. And you guys only have, like, ten minutes left. Nice, nice. 2024. Okay, so uh, nice. That does sound like a new feature. I was about to say that sounds that sounds high tech. Brandy new. Your 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 uh my my car is pretty old. It's pretty old. It's like uh, more than ten years. The game chair was very damaged. Uh, had very damaged my back. Uh. Wait. It, it hurts your back. Uh, that's no fun. Yeah, that's you, you need a good chair, especially if you're sitting in it for a while. You need to uh, get, get a good chair. I just use an office chair, and it's okay. It is okay. It, this one was also I got it for free, <laughs> so we can't complain. Uh, <laughs> we we can't complain. What else? Um, I'm excited to see the sale. Steam sale tomorrow. Uh, what do I have on my wish list right now? Ooh, three exclamation points. Joel the Sturgeon again. Love it. Things that I have that would be, I'd be, wow, 246 gold, yeesh. Um, Looking to see what games I'm hoping might go on sale. Um, Jassant, I would love for it to go on sale. Would very much want to play that game. Maybe any of the League of Legends games that I've been uh, that on my wish list forever, like the Mage Seeker or Song of Nunu. I doubt that will go on sale. Slime Rancher 2 at a low price would be wonderful. Even though it's still in early access, that's unlikely, probably. Really want Agatha Christie Murder on the Orient Express. That's that's one of the games that I'm like, please go on sale. I feel like it hasn't sold very well, so it's bound to go on sale soon. Um, even though, and this is one of the things I need to consider, both Pepper Grinder and Lightyear Frontier release this month. 
Uh, so, I, and I would love to play both of those. So, we'll see. If I if I find a game that I'm like, yes, for sure, we'll, we'll stream it, uh, and it's a good sale, then I'll get it. But I might just save for those two games. I have so many games that are, like, coming soon, and not that are, like, released. Yeah, there's only a couple. Let me just it. Um... I tend to drive cars until they're, they're co they start costing me too much to keep fixing. I feel bad. How did all the fire drill stuff go? All good. So they were supposed to come in at the end of last week to um, um, like basically the fire alarms still have these red caps on them that are supposed to come on when everything is like done and installed. They have not come in to, to remove them and then to do a final test. So, yeah. <laughs> so I don't I don't know what that means. I don't know if they forgot. I don't know what, but we'll see. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully that doesn't mean anything. Uh, at some point last night, I think I, I maybe it was just like a smell coming. It was a smell coming from outside. But, like, I don't know if it was, like, someone was barbecuing or something. But there was, like, a... What is that smell? Um, <laughs> is that fire? Oh, like, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I went back to sleep. Old car was a 2007. I bought it in 2010. It had 89,000 miles in it. Nice. Tend to drive cars, yeah. I pretty much... I think I've only had... In my lifetime, I think I've only had three cars. I think I've only had three cars. One, first one. First one, someone totaled. They hit the back of my car, and it didn't like. It, it, like, bent the truck a little bit, and so it, there was just, like, no way. It just was too expensive to fix. It was already, like, a used older car. Then I bought a car from a friend of mine for, like, I think it was, like, a thousand bucks, maybe. Maybe less. No, I think it was about a thousand. It was, it, it was an older car, too, but it ran well. Uh, and so I just bought that, and then... Uh, uh, and then I have my my current vehicle, uh, and, I, and hopefully it just never dies. <laughs> hopefully it just never dies. Paid 135 for for my gaming chair. Nice, very very cool. Uh, I think fishing is telling me to eat a fish sandwich in a coffee cup. It's time for it's it's a fish fillet sandwich and coffee kind of day, Falk. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think. All right, you guys have five minutes, then we're gonna hop into the game. I'm very excited to try out this game. The guy, the the person who made it, I believe, said that they were partially inspired by uh, Return of the Obra Dinn, um, which I loved, uh, and I, I think it's more of like the general style of the game, um, and maybe that you have to just sort of like deduce kind of what the rules are. We'll see, it looks fun. This is my fourth. Uh, first one, I didn't have a choice in it, so I only had it for three years. Next one I had for 15 years, and the first Kia I had for 14. Wow, that's, I love that it's, it's treated you so well, Kia has. Uh, but tomorrow we'll be back with more Final Fantasy. I can't wait. Very much looking forward to that. Um. Else. Is there anything else happening, friends? Anything else you guys have going on that you're looking forward to or news you heard? Uh, I, I, I saw that both Luigi's Mansion 2 remake and um, Paper Mario are both $60 games. People have been kind of talking about that. Uh, they said that Paper Mario makes the most sense because it's a remake. 
Uh, and then, but I think the Luigi's Mansion game is only a remaster. Uh, and people are like, it doesn't seem like it should be worth 60, but love my last key. I have a feeling this one will be around for a long time too. Good. That's good. Um, uh, What else? <clears throat> trying to see. Right now I'm checking if there was any kind of like... Oh, I did hear this, which would be interesting. I mean, it does not really affect me very much, but I am very curious. Supposedly, I don't know if you guys have heard, but um, they're, they're kind of moving closer and closer to banning TikTok in the US. Uh, and today they passed some kind of like bill that would allow them to fully, like, I think after like another, like, uh, Cecil, <laughs> after like, they're, they're getting to a point where they can actually ban it. Uh, they, they still have to go through like some kind of like hearing maybe or something, but King of Bridge, King of Bridge, well fun, welcome in, how's it going? Are you a King, King of the Bridge fan? <laughs> We're starting it today. <laughs> oh, weird. What's that doing on screen? That shouldn't be there. Where is that? <laughs> Hold on. Where, did, where is that? Twitch? Oh, that should be... There you go. Um, I have TikTok, but I hardly use it anymore. I have a TikTok, but I don't use it. I think I've, I've signed into it once. <laughs> Uh, well fun, welcome in, how's it going? Have you played King of King of the Bridge? Uh, and Dragana, welcome in. I loved every minute of it. I'm And Dragana, welcome in. I'm excited to, to start playing. We're gonna be playing it here in like three minutes. We'll go on a BRB, I'll play ads, and then we'll, we'll hop into the game. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Um, uh, it looks great. I saw, I just saw the little animation of of the, of the person doing like this. And I was like, this is amazing. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of already sold. And then as I watched the rest of the trailer, I was like, I, I'm here for it. Um, that's some of the dumbest things I've seen with everything happening in the world. That's probably fair. I, I honestly, if TikTok gets banned, the only thing that I will make me happy is that means hopefully less like, people pranking people <laughs> just just for the sake of content i'm here for that if that's if that's what happens <laughs> i'm okay i'm okay with the rest i heard that but i also heard that so many people have petitions out that they won't be able to delete it i did not fact check that though i, I will see i don't really know how any of that works um but uh, yeah, and I'm, I also don't know what's what's true and, and not. I, I've heard via Reddit a lot of things, which, you know, <laughs> Reddit. Uh, <laughs> it can be both hit or miss um, <laughs> on, on a lot of stuff. Uh, we did it, Reddit. Um, I'm doing good. Hope you enjoy the game. I, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. Uh uh, how how did you hear about King of the Bridge, Welfon? Uh, honestly, I'm all for it. Any anything that keeps my students from learning new annoying trends, I'm down. Uh, <laughs> I've seen like um, I don't know. We'll we'll see. I I'm I'm curious to see what would happen. It would be interesting. I, here is a thing that would be curious if if they do ban it is like the the content creators who've built platforms on TikTok. I wonder what they will do. Like the ones that are like pretty much solely on TikTok. Where would they go? Um, what, yeah, I'm I'm curious. Would they just move? I mean, Instagram's maybe the closest other platform with Reels. Uh, I mean, YouTube has Shorts. I don't really know how popular Shorts are though. Um, especially like in terms of monetization and stuff. I don't really know the information on Instagram about that, but 
um, be curious. I'm on TikTok too often, but I'm slowing down my doom scrolling. I I will go check one out if I see it somewhere else and I, it seems funny or it seems pretty good. I'll see what the other person, what, what that person posts besides that, but it's very rare that I just go on it. <laughs> Colin, I hope you have a great day. Moon Troop, welcome in. How's it going? Is everyone here for King of the Bridge? Um, uh, if not TikTok, it'll be something else and just opens a gap in the market for the next thing. Yeah, that's also true. Um, we'll see kind of where, where things go. Um, I'm trying to replace my doom scrolling with reading time. That's smart, Gilmore. That also seems like it'd be difficult, potentially. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, because it's, it's less, you know, like... The, the the deal with doom scrolling I feel like is that it's uh what's the word has it give, grants immediate satisfaction uh immediate gratification sort of or the or maybe the opposite of whatever gratification is since it's doom scrolling but whereas like reading is like you know it's 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 built it, it's a it, the the gratification is usually later you know uh I run into so much trouble with stupid YouTube shorts. I'll watch one, then an hour's gone, and I've watched 75. Oh no. You see, I am, I'm not a really a shorts person. I, I wear pants, I'm just kidding. Um, but I uh, will typically, I, I like long form videos more, generally. So uh, if someone is like, here is a three hour deep dive into something really random, I am more likely to watch that than just like, a short of whatever. I also absolutely hate when somebody does a um, uh, they just like copy a horizontal video into a into a uh, vertical short form video, but they just have it zoomed in so you can't see the things. Like they'll be like, and so I'm clicking on this here, but it's like off of the screen. I'm like no, <laughs> why are you doing this? This is not the format. Uh, but Moon Troop, welcome in. And who else came in? Dragano, hello. And Welvon, hello. I hope you're all having wonderful days. What brings you in? Um, <laughs> d yeah, you guys have never seen my, well, you have because of my, the random like dancing videos that I've done. King of Bridge. Very fun. I'm excited to, to play it. Did you, you, you enjoyed it? King of Bridge. How did you guys hear of King of Bridge? Thinking of Bridge is a fun game to watch others play. Oh, exciting. When did it come out? Wasn't it very soon? It was, it was, it was like, King of the Bridge. Also, I should say, yeah, yeah. It was uh, last week, it looks like, six days ago. Very exciting. I'm here for it. I like puzzle games and uh, it seems very puzzly. I think King of Bridge is a fun game to watch. I, I'm excited. Video could be a lie. It also could, it's just CG. <laughs> my, my legs are CG. It came to me in a dream. One second. Do, 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 do. Okay. Interesting, interesting statement. Uh, the, <laughs> I, uh, Icely Puzzles made a bit about it. Oh, I've never heard of them. Do they, they, they talk about a lot of puzzle games? All right, um, friends, we are going to, oh, a lot of Baba's you. I really want to play that game really want to play it uh it seems kind of wild but fun uh all right we are going to brb for a few minutes so i can run ads so that way it doesn't interrupt the game and i'll get uh, all of that set up fishing is closed no more fishing everybody uh but so that way you guys aren't interrupted while we start king of the bridge and, and all of that so uh, if you guys don't mind just chilling out for a couple minutes, we will be RB. BRB!
Having a, a great, great old day. Gizmo, welcome in, Gizmo. How are you? I want a slice of that pizza. Go. Um, looks like the pizza <laughs> or the pizza blanket. Uh, I think this one, this one is just pepperoni and, and uh, uh, jalapenos. I think yours is uh, mushrooms. Or uh, yeah, mushrooms as well. Uh, Gizmo. How's your day? How's it going? Um, I was gonna say, there was something I was gonna tell you guys, and now I've already forgotten. It's too bad. Because I hope you're having a fantastic day. We are going to start picking up the bridge. Very excited to play that. Oh, I was gonna say to the new people who've come in, the stream is, is you're, you're kind of coming into a time where our stream is running at like. Thank you, Emmers. You're kind of coming at a time where our stream is probably running at like 60 percent. <laughs> um, I've I've currently uh, we usually have more stuff happening, more channel. Oh my gosh, more uh, channel point redemptions and, and all of that. But um, we do not have that right now. What is that? It, it is a curse. It's our curse emote. It's actually a part of the fishing game now. Yesterday I did a thing where I was like. Um, uh, I forgot to also add here. Email. There, there have been no alerts. So if an alert happened, I apologize. Um, it's only going to be around for a limited time because it's a little too cursed, I think, for anyone's good. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, our, our stream is running at around 60%. Uh, uh, so I've uh, yesterday I downgraded my operating system to um, <laughs> to uh, uh, the previous Mac operating system because I was like try, things have just been running poorly. So we're gonna see if everything runs a little bit better today. There have already been some hiccups, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Like the, the everything freezing and whatnot. But anyway. Um, yes, that's, that's, <laughs> it'll, it probably won't be a permanent thing, emote, <laughs> maybe we'll, uh, <laughs> maybe we'll make it like a BTTV or something, but it's just, it's a little too cursed, I think. It's just a little, a little too much. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It just... We'll see. You actually, you guys have had more of a positive uh, response to it than I, I thought you would. <laughs> so, we'll see. I thought surely people were going to be like, wow, that is the most cursed thing I've seen. But, hey, anyways. Let us go ahead and start King of the 
bridge of unity. I'm excited. Tim, you guys, wait a minute. Oh, there is game audio now. Okay, I was like, what's going on? Um, also, let me go here for a sec. All right. All righty, friends. Uh, let us just see. Speed run mode. Wait, what is this? Uh, okay. Display. Sure. Audio. Sure. Text. Yes. Awesome. Uh, so I, I watched one trailer and was already like, this looks fantastic. Uh, and, Ooh. oh, title drop, we got an Achievo, we're winning, we're winning already, um, so, now I have to click on everything, um, so, uh, okay, no, I think everything else, uh, that's really all I, all I know about it, so we're, we're just gonna hop in. Uh, which, uh, you do by going, uh, not, not to options. What's extras? Achievements, leaderboard, credits. Okay. Let's start. You'll have to tell me how the sound is if it's too loud, too quiet. Cross the bridge. Wazd. Oh, look at us. Look at us, little happy guy. Easier, easiest instructions ever. I know. Look at, we look so happy in the way we we traverse. I might be doing that audio thing again today. What's up with that? <laughs> this is the guy that I saw, just under your nose. <laughs> I love this. Just under your nose. The tip of your tongue. Don't take a guess. That would not be fun. Many an answer. I look for just one. Do you get it? It's a riddle. And I find riddles so boring. So if you wish to cross this bridge, you'll have to play a game. My game. He's also doing a little animation himself. This is it. Get ready for the 11th edition of Advanced Troll Chest. Chess. You will find uh, the well-curated rulebook to your right. Let the game commence. Accusation. Do you suspect the other color of cheating last turn? Accuse them by first entering accusation mode. Then click the chess piece you think violated a rule Lastly, click the page of the rule you think that was violated. Rule zero. If you catch the other color cheating, you may cheat during your turn as payback. Interesting. If you falsely, rule one, if you falsely accuse of the other color of cheating, your turn is forfeited and they may cheat as revenge. Rule two, you can only move your own colored pieces. Do not move the other pieces, please. Oh, some of the rules are grayed out. Okay, so. Rule seven, horse guy can also move like this in four directions. He is troubled. Wait. <laughs> can also move like this. Also is interesting. Um. Isn't that default, like, chess move? <laughs> picture, rule eight, wait. Rule, rule eight is just a picture of a horse. Maybe there's more over here. Rule 10, if the white king dies, black wins the game. Rule 11, if the black king dies, the crown is given to another member of the royal guard 
The perpetual cycle continues? Okay, that's rude. He is troubled. Rule 24. Horse. <laughs> uh, do not walk in each other's shoes. It makes it hard to see who is who and can grant perspective. Um, <laughs> rule 25. No pieces can leave the board unless they work out of town. That's fair. Rule 27. Some tiles are slippery. Watch out. Okay. Epilogue. I'd like to dedicate this rule book to myself because I made it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, the contents. He is. This one is just. The, this chapter or this page is just called He, which I love. Okay. <sighs> All right. A little nervous, but. Uh... Pawns move like this because they are small minded. Okay, so they can only move one space. The horse. Only he can jump over other pieces. Okay. Uh, pawns can also move backwards, actually. Okay. Uh, can I take that? You cheated? Oh, because he can't move diagonal. Hey, those pawns can't move like that. Did you think I wouldn't notice? Oh. Okay. It's fair. He. <laughs> okay, so, all right, all right, all right. How do I? Hmm. Uh, your camera's bit in the way, when the rule book opens. Oh, is it? Oh, like it's in the way of the board? Uh, let me move. Hmm. I don't know where to go. Uh, I can make myself smaller. There you go. Try to just go down here, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not, I won't be covering too much, you know. All right, <clears throat> and so does the rules, yes. Okay, so they carry over. Yes. Okay, so they can only, and they can move backwards. Too bad games aren't being developed with streamers overlays in mind these days. That's fair, yeah. There, uh, the thing is, so many streamers overlays, it can just like, um, uh, they they differ for so many people, so it's it's probably hard to to develop as such. So how will a pawn? What? Unless does he work out of town? Is that going to be the thing? Hold on. Uh, jump over the pawn, move backwards. Where's the stay on the board? Uh. Move it on color, small minded, and backwards. Yeah, this one, right? Uh, chess piece did not work out of town, right? Wait. Oh, chess piece plus rule violated. Black bishop did not work out of town. Uh, yeah, I think. Unless, does he work out of town? I don't know. False accusation? Does he work out of town? You would accuse me of cheating? Well then, I'll have my revenge. Right now. What? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, okay. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. 
Oh, look at that. The bishop is a vital piece in the chess arsenal. He travels in the direction of X. Yes. Look at that guy. Okay. What is this? Um. What just happened to my piece? Wait a minute. <laughs> Any pawn that reaches the great beyond, the furthest space from them, ascends? Uh huh. Okay. I should have guessed that. <laughs> We're not doing very well. Hmm. Um. I didn't see how he moved just then. No, he moved from here. Okay. Um. Oh, these are the slippery spaces. Right. Okay. That makes sense. Why did that guy just jump? Uh. Oh, your move is getting back up. Interesting. Okay. Pa uh, let's see. Rule five. Pawns are actually a metaphor for the invisible worker trolls. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Um hmm. I should move this somewhere. Uh-oh. I could have, I wonder, could I have gotten him? It is troll tradition to stop bypassers in this game. What? Uh, did he move my piece? What just happened? Why did that move? I didn't, I didn't tell you to move. Uh, you can only move your own colored pieces. White Knight was moved by the wrong color. Successfully accused the troll for the first time. I may cheat this turn. From the weakest depths, you ascend to my level. Uh... So, okay, I can cheat this turn. How do I want to cheat? Hmm. Big brain time. Yeah, this is interesting. Hold on. Let me see. What would I want? Snivy, welcome in. How's it going? Um... You also a chess fan. Uh, man, this is, I've never been asked how I want to cheat before, you know? Uh, wait. Okay. I could try to move one of his pieces, but if I do, I'm like, where would I want to put you? Pawns move like this because they are small-minded. I mean, like, 
who's to say that I couldn't, like... Can I just try to, like, kill one of his pieces? I mean, like, just move a pawn like, like mad crazy? Pawns can actually move backwards. Horse guy can also move like this. Do not walk in each other's shoes. That's the best. Uh, okay, we're. I just. Can I like just do this? Um. Think about how he cheated before. I can't remember how he cheated. Well, he moved uh, one of my pieces, but. Uh, and Stimmy, let me figure out how to how to play. No, no backseating, please. If you guys would like. Um, uh, in our Discord, we have uh, a backseating chat. Uh, in, in, uh, there's a channel specifically for backseating. Uh, you guys can, uh, can go there if you would like to. Uh, all right. Um... I ascended. Two pawns in a single game. That's right. I was actually hoping <laughs> to move the pawn there so I could try to get one of these pieces. Did not mean for him to ascend. I wonder if, if ascension does anything, though. I feel like you have to know how to play chess in order to play this game. Sort of, yeah. You have to. It sounds, seems like you have to have a little bit of a... Um, basis, maybe, for it. Now, hold on. I'm trying to see if there's a way I can save my horse before <laughs> this guy takes it. But I don't think I will have a chance to. Uh, oh. Who are you? Oh, okay. He goes under the bridge. Makes sense. Um, probably a bit more knowledge than just the pieces. Can be moved. True. Uh, yeah, I think so. It's, it's probably working under the assumption that you know... Um, I got second place speedrun and almost have never played chess. Incredible. Um... Oh, man. Because I won't be... Oh, well, we'll just see what happens. Maybe he'll move another piece. Oh, he did. Okay. Um, right, I didn't, <laughs> right, 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 that makes sense, it makes sense that you would be able to do that. Uh, J'accuse! Uh, only the horse can jump over tiles. Wait! Is this it? A horse guy can also... Uh, no, no, no. So it's not that. Yeah. Rule nine. <gasps> yes! <laughs> Take that guy. What? You saw that? I thought you blinked. All right. So... Uh... Hmm... So putting a pawn there made it ascend. So <laughs> maybe I should do something like Can I Right. <laughs> Makes sense. What is what is this tile? What is this? I cheated? What it is that? I don't know what that is. Do not look a horse in the mouth. Wait, you so you think you can just move the gifts over to your side? What is that? I can sort of Yeah, it is it is I can see the Oberdinish 
qualities to it. Well, not on my watch, you don't. Do not look... What? Do not look a horse in the mouth. Do not move the gifts after they have been given. What is a gift? I don't understand what you are. What are you? Retry. Okay, restart. Also, the, the even the, like, uh, string note that plays when you've, like... When it, when they tell you that you've cheated, is uh, it's it's very Oberdin. Right, 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 right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The fair lady moves like a castle plus a bishop. She's very nice, but has power. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's that's like a default rule of of chess. So some I think they're so they're partially telling you how chess works. But then also throwing in random stuff. Um If the queen captures a piece, the world flips upside upside down, but like sideways. She. <laughs> Weird rule, but interesting. If the queen captures a piece, the world flips upside down, but like sideways. So it it just it flipped. Yes, it 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 and yeah, horizontal flip. Yes, okay. <laughs> it just took me a second to realize what just happened. Uh, but yeah, that makes sense. Oh, okay, yeah. Just we're gonna take that as a. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Welcome in, Colors. How are you? Okay. Um... Move back. Fact 19. Unveil 10 rulebook pages. Uh, advanced chess is comprised of rules going as far back as the wrinkly troll ages. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Do I want you to go? Are you? Hold on. Okay. Let's do this. Jacques. Where is it? Uh, rule nine. You can't jump over pieces, sir. You may cheat this turn. I was just trying to spice things up. <laughs> you bore me. Endlessly rude. Uh, okay, close. Um...
so okay, 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 okay. Um, so what's interesting is that piece doesn't go back. It like it's just there now. Uh, can I? Is it worth? It's worth just sacrificing. Wait. Oh no! I did cheat! I did cheat! Right, he doesn't work out of town. And if they did, they would miss supper. Unthinkable. That was my bad. I that was on me, everybody. That was that was on me. Colors, how are you? We're playing King of the Bridge. Trying to trying to win. <laughs> I promise. Uh, hmm. I'm so lost. So, basically, anytime I make a mistake, I, I lose the game. If, if I try to kill him, uh, it's... It, it, a new pawn ascends to become, or like any other piece becomes then the king piece. In chess, you're trying to get to a point where you uh, like lock the king, the enemy king in a place where no matter what happens, they will lose. They'll get hit or whatever. Um, their piece will get taken. Um so yeah, I'm just uh, I'm trying to play within the confines of his rules, which are kind of nonsensey. Like I, the the fact so the bishop piece can go. This is the bishop can go outside of the board. That's why when I like highlight over it, you'll see there's more squares in place, and the only reasoning for that is because he works out of town. The pawn cannot because it works in town, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so, and what is this? Do, if I land here, what is what is the gift? What does that mean? I don't know what it means. Um, okay. Uh, Whoops. I just put that in a really weird spot. Uh, <laughs> and, and it seems like that's okay. Oh, boy. Right. Okay. So everything flipped. Uh, I can just take you like that. Crown guy can do as he pleases, but he is also lazy. He moves like this. So he can only move one space, but in any direction. Uh, okay. Get you back up. Um... Right, 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 right. Right, 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 right. What if... Get ready for my special move. He moved upon forward. Bishops drop their gift of knowledge when they leave a tile. The horse is not the only one who can jump over this? Oh, interesting. Do not look a horse in the mouth. It is a gift for you. Makes sense. Okay, so... So that tile, I can move... I would be able to move the king over this spot is what my understanding of that is 
Let's try it, because I'm not 100%. <laughs> the horse is not the only one who can jump over this. So that, the gift is this spot. So... What? But he was cheating right before my very eyes. But their crown weighs them down. It even rhymes. But, 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 it's a gift of knowledge. Unless I need to land on that tile and then. Yeah, but it, it, he jumped over it. Oh, I guess I see what that meant. Okay. I thought, <laughs> I thought I could just skip that tile. I thought that's what that meant. But, <laughs> but I understand what that means. I guess it's it's a if it's a piece that could normally move more than those spaces, it can jump over that spot. Got you. But still, it, I don't know. He jumped over it. He skipped it. It was the gift of knowledge. <laughs> all right. Leave me be. Uh, all right. Let's put you there. Hmm. Gosh. I, like, accidentally... <laughs> I feel like he's going to get mad. I keep dropping it in the wrong, wrong spot. Um, they're both knocked down. I don't have anything that will get to, to take him. Hmm. Interessant. Interessant. Um... We'll just stand up. This is a, what? Accuse. The queen for the bishop rule. What is it? Because he works out of town. Wait. Wait, but it does say she's like, moves like a castle plus a bishop, so does that mean she can just do whatever the bishop does? Wait, where is it? Uh, travels. No pieces can leave town? Unless it's gonna be like, like I said, it works like. Yeah. I may cheat this turn. Boom, boom. We love that. All these accusations. It is, it is a waste of my time. Why prolong the inevitable loss? All right, close. Um, so I can cheat this turn. Now, okay. Hold on. I might as well... Hmm. Little, little duck. Um. Quack. Yeah. Uh. So what would... Okay, here's, here's my question. I mean, and don't answer this, but <laughs> I, this is what I'm thinking. If I moved a pawn to kill the queen, would the pawn be able to move subsequently in outside after this, or would that be considered cheating? Or would that pawn just be stuck there for eternity until I can cheat next? You know, that's, that's a question I have. Um, I 
feel like what might be smarter. I think I should get rid of some of their non-pawn pieces. Oh no, what square are you on? Oh, you're you're on this one. Um Uh, of course. What, what just happened here? Did he move? He, uh, I don't know. I guess it probably doesn't count as it being moved. Get back up. Towers can't move normally. Wait, towers can't normally move, but in this world of abstraction, oh, he he can move as well. He is can move as well. Okay, I thought I did something wrong. But what is happening here? Why is he behind the bishop? That seems like. I mean, we don't have a rule for that. <laughs> um, like, so even if I accused him, I couldn't be like, it'd be fun if they taunted you when they cheated and you missed it. That would actually would be kind of fun. So that they're like, y you missed a cheat. But like, I'm... He's sharing a space. What does it say about the king? Crown guy can do as he pleases, but is also lazy. So I guess... I cheated, but why? What is what is the cheat here? Do not walk in each other's shoes. That's what that means. So you can't share a space. Okay. I didn't understand. I just thought that was a general life rule. <laughs> I thought it was just giving us just terrible life advice. Okay. I see now. I... I'm... Yes, a good lesson of being able to interpret the rules. Exactly. Uh, if I put you here. What? Black King. I assume he doesn't work out of town. No piece can leave the board unless they work out of town. I may cheat this turn. Okay. It is a waste of my time. Why prolong your inevitable loss? I'm, I mean, uh, maybe I'll win this time. Okay. Wait. Also, there's a, there's a piece behind another piece. I didn't catch that the first time. <laughs> Oops. All right. So I would like to... What happens if I do this? So bo capture two black pieces with a single move. Wait. Did that piece turn What? What just happened? He took it, ha but how? <laughs> but, 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 but. Getting them achievements? I know, I'm, I love it. I haven't even looked at them, so it's just fun to. 
What, 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 what? How did he just take my piece? There's nothing that would... Did it... Okay, answer... Did it turn black when I captured it? Is that just an effect of capturing two? Or... Oh, the pawn took it. It moved. Right. I was like... I thought... <laughs> right. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, wait. When, and when you said he took your piece, I thought you meant like he took it over. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Okay. Um, <laughs> I was like, what just happened? Let's start moving out here. This has been a very interesting round so far, I find. Um, hmm. And Debbie, welcome in. How are you? How's it going? We are playing, uh, it's called King of the Bridge. It's a wacky version of chess. So if you're familiar with chess, most of it is not going to make sense. Um, but how are you? Hope you're having a great day. All right, let's see. Ooh, uh... What do I want to do? I could... Perfect, chess doesn't make sense to me anyway. Excellent. Um... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Did this one move? No, no, no. That was in the right spot. That was in before. It just looked like it shifted a little bit. That one just moved up. Um, let's do this. Two towers, if two towers aren't not adjacent, they form a castle. If, so if they're adjacent, they form a castle. <laughs> yes, double negative. Okay. Um, good to know. No! <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this. Um. <sighs> but how are you? How's your day? How's everything? How's work and all of that? Um, so we've lost both of... Oh, man. <laughs> uh, okay. This guy's just hanging out, hanging out over there. Um, how I orchestrate this whole thing? Magic. Duh. It's fair. Okay.
good. We're wrapping up the quarter, so it's mostly slow right now, but I ain't complaining. Nice! Hope you're well. I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good. I feel like... What is this guy? What, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? Also, this guy has... He has not moved back onto the board. Um... Hmm. I feel like we've... I mean, we've gotten far-ish. Farther than we have before. If I move here... I can take this. Uh. Huh. Okay. Um. Oof. Oof. Um. Hmm. So every time they, they, these persist, I'm, I'm realizing. Accuse, you moved not like this. Travel in the direction of plus. I may cheat this turn, all right. What? You saw that? No, I did not blink. I never blink. It is a problem. Um, hmm. We're going to do a little testy test, I think. I'm going to take that piece. So I now wonder what's going to happen if I ever try to move this. Is this. Oh, you guys can't see. There's a pawn right here. Uh, and it's outside of the field of play. Um, okay, I can get you. That's fine. Stand back up. No! Wait. What? Uh, wait. Wait. He jumped over the pond, didn't he? I think he just jumped over the pond. He wasn't up front there, was he? I don't think he was. I don't remember, but we're gonna go for it. Cause why not? Uh, he is not a horse. Where is the horse rule? He, only he can jump over pieces. Yes, okay, excellent. <laughs> Go on, then cheat. <laughs> okay, uh, let's let's bring the pawn back. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Right, 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 right. <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh, we can. We should be able to take that though. Rule fifteen: Bishops work out of town as well. They can leave the town and still come home for supper. Okay. Yes, we do. We know that about bishops. Though we might lose this guy, unfortunately. Um. Didn't think about that. No! I mean, it makes sense, but... Get ready for my special move. I love when he says that and it's just a pawn moves forward. I like it. Uh... So, like, okay, I'm so confused about this little gift thing. Uh... Wait, what? What? What just happened? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Why did he? Why did he disappear? 
What happens if I land on this? It just uh, I I thought these I thought these were gifts. I thought What? Gift. What is it about gifts? Bishops drop their and as the nerd and Ines welcome in. Bishops drop their gift of knowledge when they leave a tile. The horse is not the only one who can jump over this. It's like, is it a bomb? Like what? It, 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 what, 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 what? We were actually doing pretty okay, but no, I, I landed on one of those like uh, places that the bishop leaves behind and it blew up my pawn. And then I was like, wait, I'm so confused. So I just did it to my king and I died. But I was very, con I'm still confused. I'm still confused how that works. He touched my piece. Why did he do that? Um, why are you doing that? Uh, okay. Uh, you, you cheated. Uh, where is it? Works out of town. Chess piece, rule 25. I'm so confused I wouldn't be able to help you even if you asked. What are you, what are you confused about? What's the confusing thing? I'll try to help. Okay, so I can cheat. Everything. Okay. So, what do you know about chess? Uh... Let's just take that. The pieces move. All right. Also, okay, we're going to see this. Okay. No, uh, you can't. All right. Uh, the pieces move some more than others. This is true. That piece does not work out of town. And if they did, they would miss supper. Unthinkable. Okay. Just, I figured since it was the beginning, might as well, might as well, um, uh, like, Try it out since it was, since we just restarted. Well, here, let me. I don't know if this will help you. Um. Okay. Perfect. Let's look at this for a second. So, uh, uh, about the same here. And you must protect the queen. No, well, I mean, the queen is a very nice piece, but you're trying to protect the king. King is the most important, sort of. Yeah, he's the most important. All right. So, uh, here's a little primer. This. A lot of people call the castle piece. It is called the rook. A rook can move in these blue lines and in any number of places. This, these are standard rules. Uh, this, these are not king of the bridge rules. <laughs> can move in any like sideways or forwards, directions, backwards, etc. Any number of spaces. It could ignore any of the other pieces while I'm talking about one of them. It could move all the way to the right if, it was, if there was nothing in its way. Uh, so it can take pieces in a plus sign direction. Uh, uh, so again, that is the rook. You have a pawn. Pawns can typically only move uh, one space forward. It, they do not move sideways. The only time they can move diagonally is if they are like taking a piece. Like if an enemy piece is here, this pawn could move sideways, but otherwise has to keep moving in a straight line. Um, Another caveat is if you're in the starting spot, like the pawns start on this row, uh, the first move a pawn makes, it can't take two. It can't take two for some reason, just for funsies. Um, but it typically only moves one space forward. 
Um, uh, this is a knight or horsey. The knight moves in an L shape. And player four, welcome in. I didn't know you streamed. God, you tapped. Oh, thank you so much. Player, welcome in. One, here, let me um, give you a little shout out. I've been uh, uh, chatting, mostly lurking in uh, player four's stream. You can give him a fall. He's wonderful. Dive into the geeky galaxy of player four, the gentle weirdo who's all about family-friendly fun and immersive adventures. From Rocket League's GC1 to battling aliens, and choosing between Harry Potter Magic or Witcher, Th Witcher 3 Mayhem. He's been playing a lot of, uh, when I've been there, a lot of uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Um, they've got something for everyone. Whether it's their first playthroughs, completing side quests, or just spreading love, Player 4 Streams is a cozy corner of variety and good vibes. Go check them out, everybody. Go drop them a follow. Go, go hit that button up on the top uh, top of the chat. Um, we're So we're playing a game. Hey, and thank you for the follow. Uh, we are playing... Um, a game uh, called King of the Bridge, which is like wacky chess. But a few people were saying that they don't even know the basic rules of chess, so I'm just sort of like, just talking very briefly on, on all this. So, uh, the knight here moves in an L shape. In any direction, it's it's sort of like one, two, three, and then a direction. Uh, so two, I guess two spaces in front or behind it, and then one, one space to the left or right. I always just think of it as an L. Uh, it, it always moves in, in an L spot. Boop, boop. He can hop over. He can hop over pieces. The the rook, which we talked about, cannot hop over pieces. The pawn cannot hop over pieces. The only one that can hop over pieces is the horse. Um, then you have the bishop here. Bishop um, can move diagonally in any number of spaces. Uh, so there's always uh, one that starts on a white space and one that starts on a like black space. Uh, those will never, if the white space one will always be on a white space because it can only move diagonally. Um, then you have the queen, which is like almost all of the pieces combined except for the horse. So it can move in any number of spaces in any direction. Um, so if it wants to move all the way forward, it can. If it wants to move all the way sideways, it can. It can also move diagonal. Uh, it can move just one space, etc. Uh, it the only thing is it cannot jump over pieces, so it can't like uh, be a horse and do the L-shaped one. So that's the queen, queen. Uh, and then you have the king and the king, uh, the king. Uh, uh, name that movie. Um, the king can only move one space in any direction. The king uh, is important. You are trying to get the king in a checkmate. A checkmate means no matter where the king moves, he will always be taken the next turn. So that means you've set up your pieces in a way that like, uh, it's like blocked in. So because he can only move one space, it's like, well, he can't move forward because if he moved forward, um, uh, he's gonna get hit by, he's gonna be taken by this other piece. He can't move sideways because he can't, you know, he'll be taken by another piece. The, the king can never move into a space that would put him in danger. So that's sort of the dealio. Um, but that's like the very general basic rules of, of chess. You've got only one, two, three, four, five, six main pieces. There's lots of pawns. So here we have, if I put this away, you have, whoops, I'm moving the, I have two mice on my desk, getting confused. You have, these are your pawns. So again, Ignoring the rules of King of the Bridge for a second. Uh, these are uh, the pawns. So typically they would only be able to move one space in front of them. Uh, here's the castle. So this is the one that can move like in a plus sign configuration. Here's the horse. So it would be able to move in L shapes. Bishops, which move in diagonal. The queen that can move in pretty much any direction. The king that can only move in one space and then so on. Bishop, knight castle rook and then the pawns again uh this guy is acting as a king on his on his team um and yeah now again because the rules of king of the bridge are wacky pawns can move sideways bishops can go outside the board all like all of it is is nonsense um let me do this Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and so th for those people coming in, we're playing a game called King of the Bridge where all the rules are just like nonsense. So like pawns can move in a plus sign direction, only one space. Uh, bishops can go outside of the board. Um, and we're trying to catch the other player in cheating. And if he cheats, then we can cheat on the next turn. All right. Um, there's also slippy, slippery spots. Wait a minute, why did that switch? Also, he jumped spaces. Accuse. Uh, what rule is it? Only he can jump over other pieces. So, accuse the rook for rule nine. Black Rook jumped when only he can when when only he the horse can jump. Confirm. I may cheat this turn. All right. Uh, I was just trying to spice things up. You bore me endlessly. Well, the thing is, I can't leave him here, so I have to just sort of like I have to take it. Yeah. So I I didn't cheat, but like also he didn't ascend, but we're gonna ignore that. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna ignore that um goodness uh Could. Mm, nope, that'd be bad. Um, Could move. So I'm looking at the horse piece. I can move here. I kind of think one strategy is probably moving the bishop a lot. So that way it covers the board with like spots that if they land on it, they would explode, I guess. I'm really confused how that works. Um,. All right, let me see. I like having these guys out here. Um, maybe I should, I, sh I should get the horse out. Um, goodness. No, that was... Did he move a piece? Was that... Oh, he, he moved it from, from there. Okay, I just didn't see you. Uh, let's move you here. Moving this guy out and about. Um, he 
he's on a white space. Hmm. Is this a space, technically? I mean, I guess it is. <laughs> it just doesn't look... I thought this didn't count because these were, like, walls, but... I guess he can't exist there. Um... He's tricky. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but what he'll do is he'll... He'll pick up a piece, which makes me look over to it, and then he moves somewhere over here, and I don't like it. Because I can't... I don't remember what he just did. Uh, we're going to take this piece. I need to get rid of this guy. Uh, I could... What is he do what is he doing over here? He's making all these little spaces. Uh That move was really bad. <laughs> I'll show you how this game was meant to be played. I think that was I don't think he cheated there. Um Oh, no. It's very smart of him. Hmm. He's doing pretty good. <laughs> Is your win condition to kill... Pretty much. So, if I kill... If I, like kill his king uh another piece will become a king piece but he can if he just kills my piece once my king piece once he wins uh also ads are about to play so we're gonna go ahead and we'll brb while it's playing so that way you guys aren't missing anything so and we'll just continue here in in a seco so be right back and i will also make my camera go
right, everyone, we are back. I've just been, well, I went to the bathroom, but I did, I'm just been sitting here like, what should I do? I think I have a couple of ideas of maybe how to do this. So yeah, an easy way that NDNS has mentioned, for those who are confused, is that my goal is to try to take away as many pieces as possible. So that's sort of like, it's, it's hard to explain why I'm doing certain things, but it's, You can also move the queens of the other color. What? Also, he didn't move my queen. He moved a pawn. Uh, right? Yeah, because he didn't move my queen. He moved. Also, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, you can only move your pieces of the other color. Yeah. Successfully accused the troll 10 times? Well, well, well. You caught me green-handed. But you will not get past me. So, okay, that was very smart. I think he, I, you see, I thought they've done this before, and they might have, which is they did something incorrect, and then they told me a rule that is, like, not really related. But so we can move the other player's queens, which is very annoying. Um, so wait, I can cheat. You may cheat this turn. Uh, then, boop. I would only accuse someone of cheating if I were absolutely sure. Not that I would ever cheat against you. Okay. Um. Okay, 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 okay. If I can... If I go here, I'm safe for now. I could also go here. I'm trying to see if I can take away as many of these pawns as possible. Um, actually, hold on. Let me scooch back a little bit. What do you think of the game so far? I'm really enjoying it. I I, I think it's very, very well done. Um, uh, I love, like I'm seeing this as a puzzle game. I don't know if it's technically classified as a puzzle game, um, but uh, I'm enjoying it. I think it's, uh, I like the chill vibes. I also saw, it's fun watching you play it. Oh good, I'm glad. Um, we play a lot of, uh, puzzle and detective and mystery games. So I heard that the dev uh, is really interested. It's more, I think it's more of a puzzle game than chess. Yes. And that's what I, when I saw it, I was like, initially, like, I'm not great at chess, so I don't know if uh, I would enjoy it. But as I watched the trailer, I was like, oh, I see. It is more about trying to figure out the rules and then operating under those rules. And I think that's kind of fun. Um, I read that the um, uh, the dev... I don't care for chess. This looks so fun. Yeah, I big agree, Colors. Um, I don't know if you guys have played The Return of the Obra Dinn, which is a mystery detective game. It is one of the games that if I could play that again for the first time, I would. 
So the de oh yes, yeah, so the dev said that they were highly um, inspired by the Return of the Oberdin, which I can see where this comes in. Um, like uh, the sort of like I, certainly, I think the style seems influenced, but I think even just like the having to deduce things and kind of figure it out for your own. I I feel like because that's how I played the Oberdin. I uh, when we streamed it. I tried not to take any guesses. That was sort of my thing. I was like, no guesses. We are only going to uh, accuse, or like we're going to put somebody in a, in a certain place. For those who don't know, who haven't played the game, you don't know what I'm talking about. But I was like, I'm only going to solve the things that I know for sure. I think we messed up once, um, once or twice, but uh, absolutely love the game. But when I read that, I was like, interesting, and I can see it, and I'm, I'm here for it. So... Um. Yeah, I I think so far I would say I really like it. I love being able to um, uh, figure out the rules. This kind of reminds me of there was a card game that I used to play growing up called Mal. Um, and I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Mal before, but it's essentially like um, it's a card game where each round of the game, a player is the Mao, and you, when you are the Mao, you have to come up with a rule. Uh, and then, but you don't tell people the rule. You have to, everyone has to figure it out. And so this kind of brings me back to that. The only rule I think is like, uh, the start off rule is uh, you place down a card, that is either the same number or the same suit. So if someone puts down a two of hearts, you can either put down any two or any heart. But then whoever wins that round by getting rid of the cards in their hand, they become the Mao, and then uh, they can create a rule. And the way it works is that all the rules are compounding. So I could make up a rule that's like, when a heart is played, the direction of where, like the of uh, if we're if we start off by going count or clockwise on at the table, I could say every time a heart is played, the direction is now reversed. Um, and as the Mao, you then have to enforce the rules. Um, as well as a player can say, like can object, um, and if they if they notice another player um, has has like broken a rule. Uh, and then you can reward people or penalize people by giving them cards or whatever. So the, in a way, this kind of reminds me of that. It has the same chaotic energy of you just have to, like, you're going in blind. You have to just figure out the rules for yourself. And I'm here for that. I, I really enjoy, uh, I'm really enjoying this. I would, I would, and, and it's also, by the way, for people who are interested, this was only, like, how much? Also, this is not a sponsored stream, but... <laughs> King of the Bridge, where are you? One, it's currently on 15% off because of its launch price. Um, you have another 42 hours to take advantage of the 15% off. It is normally just three dollars, uh, but it's currently 254. So get get your 40 ch and change cents <laughs> off of that. But there's a link also in the chat if you guys are interested, because I think I think you should support uh, a dev like this. I'm gonna move here. Um, hmm, hold on. What you doing, King? What you doing? I see you next. Oh wait, he can't. He can't move out here, but he could still like hurt me. Hmm. They saw what I was doing. They saw what I was doing. Um. Uh, 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 what are you doing, Pawn? You can't go out there. You do not work out of town. Bishops work out of town as well. They can leave. Hold on. Was there another one? I'm also, what happened? No peace can leave the board unless they work out of town. 
You may cheat this turn. Excellent. Do not tell the others. We don't usually get caught. <laughs> uh, okay. I would like to get rid... We'll move, uh, we'll move upon. We'll move, get, get rid of you. Okay, he moved there. Um, stand, stand up, my friend. What? No! <laughs> How rude. I totally... <sighs> I thought we had that. <laughs> I thought we had that. I didn't see... <sighs> and it does, the game doesn't warn you about checks, which is typically in, in normal chess, in non-bridge troll chess. You... Um, uh, if, if you're... If, if a piece is able to, like... Um, uh, capture a king. You have to say, check. And that lets you, uh, uh, the other player, then, like, you can move your pe your your king out of the way. It is a checkmate when um, uh, your king can't go anywhere. So it didn't tell me, but I should have been paying attention. Oh, dang. So close. We're almost there. We've almost got this. I think we can do it. I believe in us. Okay, let's start how we've been starting before. I like putting them out of the way. Um, uh, let's move our horse boy. Oh, so you can now, I could move on my turn the queen's piece. Interesting. And he can move mine. It seems very potentially annoying. <laughs> Let's move. Let's move you. That was bad. That was bad on my part. <laughs> that's, that's my mistake, everybody. That's okay. We, you gotta. Lose a pawn to, to take over the kingdom or something. Um, Interessant. Let's move you there. Okay. I really thought we had that. <laughs> I thought we were thought we were golden. Uh, but it's okay. It's fine. What do I want to do? Move you there. New rule unlocked. Castles. Generate special Valorite scraps. <laughs> what does that say? Generate. Oh, there, it's like misspelled. Generate. Or uh, generate. Generate. Gr. <laughs> Generate special Valorite scraps? What are Valorite scraps? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, 
Also, I'm curious what happens if I put these two pieces together. move you here. Classic. Oh, hmm. <laughs> okay. Um. I was thinking I was going to move this to capture this pawn, but then I realized, oh, the, he, he can just get it. <laughs> he can just get my castle. And then I wouldn't be able to retaliate. So, now I don't want to do that. I could. No. This one's tough. Hard mode activated. What if we do this? If you think capturing my king will let you pass... I suggest you read Rule 11 again. Haha. <laughs> oh, that, that Rule 11, I think, is the... The one where uh, he becomes... This is hilarious. Yeah. Very well done, like I've said. Big recommend. Again, only three bucks, my friends. You, too, can learn the way... Of, of troll chess. Oh, I could move his queen and be annoying. Boop! Have three white pieces slip consecutively. Excellent. <laughs> we do be doing that. Um, take that. I'll make the sequel even harder. I don't pander to casuals. <laughs> New rule. Towers can eat friendly pieces to increase their power? What does that even mean? <laughs> How does it increase their power? Uh, okay. Okay. I can take that. Via my my rook here or there. Okay, Vegeta. <laughs> ah yes, the Vegeta rule. Um Also, I was totally afraid this goose was gonna do something to my piece, but it doesn't. <laughs> it just it just keeps floating by. It just seems rather like suspicious. Um, how do I want to, here's the problem. It's me. Um, whatever I take this with can be killed by that guy. Let's be risky. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just move diagonally? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Jacuse? Where is it? Pawns. Pawns. Uh, pawns. Rule four. <laughs> pawn, black pawn moved big-minded. That is big-minded. I like that. We need to start using that as a thing. What? No! Did it not? You always see the worst in people, huh? No! What do the black lines on the spaces mean? It means that the, the space is slippery, so... Perhaps next game you'll go easier on the cynicism. Didn't he? Oh, no, he was in the... Oh, that was my bad. He was in the, the space to the right of it. Um, 
so these spaces with the black mean that they are slippery. So if your if your pawn lands here, um, uh, they they fall over. As you see, this piece is like um, tilted. You have to waste a turn putting your uh, your piece back up. So you can't move that piece until you've spent a turn to like uh, move it upside right right side up. Okay, I think we're getting there. I <laughs> I know it doesn't look it. I think we're getting there though. Uh, you're wrong. <laughs> you're you're wrong. And how dare you? Um. What if I... Hold on. Hold on. I think I have a big mind idea. But what is... Uh, where is... It's like 25 or something. Yeah. I think I have a big mind idea. See, the queen cannot exist out here. How did that... Oh, how did that piece get here? That's crazy. What if I just put you over here? Move a black piece that does not work out of town. Out of town is your revenge. Yeah, because that means he can't move it. And any time he moves it, I could just accuse him of cheating. Mm. Mm. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. That's a, that's a big mind right here we have, everybody. If you think Capture My King will let you pass, I'd suggest you read Rule 11 again. <laughs> okay. Uh, put you here. We did lose a bishop, though, which makes me sad. Uh, see, so that, that piece slipped. Um, so if I want to, I could... Try to move this here. Hmm. So if I move that there, I will slip. But I should be able to move again before it can get me. Right? Because I'd have to spend a turn standing back up. He would have to move one, and then I could move again. So... No, 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 no. I'd do that. Slip. He'd move one. And then I wouldn't be able to, to do anything. So, hold on. Okay. I just got number one speed run. Darn, you are the king of the bridge. I love it. Um... You are you are the king. Bridge king. Um what do I wanna do? Move you forward. Thinking, thinking. Yeah, back off. Um, I am very curious. If I can, I, I can eat a piece. How does what? How does it eat a piece? Does it just land on it? Oh no! But I'll break the rules because it can't exist in the same spot. Times two. What does that mean? <laughs> Apparently, this is a times two rook. I don't know exactly what I've done. Um, what does that mean? Um... Okay. 
Okay. You know what? We're, we're, we're gonna live big. That move was really bad. I'll show you how this game was meant to be played. I'll make the sequel even harder. I don't pander to casuals. Cannibal. Oh, uh, hmm. He was here? What? I cheated? Wait, oh, that was the king. Oh, gosh, I thought it was the queen. That's my bad. It's because the, oh, gosh, it flipped and it confused me. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I totally forgot that the map flipped around. But okay, we have a good strategy now, I think. I think. <laughs> also, I am so curious about... Hold on, we're just gonna see something. Is it, it's getting larger. Isn't it? What does it do if it does this? Wait, <laughs> oh, what? Hold on. <laughs> That's because I put them next to each other. It's huge, yeah. Also, plus one scrap. What's this? You cheated? There, you are only allowed, oh wait, hold on. One, two, three. I do not count three towers in the game. You know what that means. You, hold on, you are only allowed to move the castles when there are three or more towers in the game. Where is the first thing about adjacent? If two towers aren't adjacent, they form a castle. How would there be a third tower? Because there's only four. Wait. If, yeah. If, if two towers are adjacent, they form a castle. So they're calling the rooks the towers. So... That's not, that's not normal. Towers can't move. Uh, hold on. Towers can eat friendly pieces to increase their power. You are only allowed to move the castles when there are three or more towers in the game. Also, what is the scrap thing? That's what this other rule was. What is it? Castles generate special Valorite scraps. What did the Valorite scraps do? Okay, so if we make a castle, we cannot move it. I've learned that now. He really is a troll, but you know what? I kind of like him. <laughs> I'm so curious how... Okay. Hold on, we're gonna just, I wanna see something. This is probably not the best way to do it. Uh, hold on. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just ate the rook. I meant to just put them next to each other. But I assume, hold on. Retry, retry. We're te we're in the test phase. I want to test something.
we have a castle. So it's going to produce scrap, I guess. <laughs> so, plus one scrap. Valorite scraps. I wonder if it's like, if you get so many scraps, something happens. But couldn't you just wait? Enough time for science! Yeah, this is just for science. Uh... I'm an idiot. Uh, oh, we can do this. <laughs> Just everyone is slipping. Uh... I can do this. Hmm, okay. Uh... don't understand what's happening here. Wonder like no, that doesn't make any sense cuz we I can only move it if there is a third tower. I wonder if there's like a rule on like creating a new piece or something or I don't know, if many pawns ascend, you can they can come back. I don't I don't know. Um Uh, what are you doing? He moved my piece. Uh, catch a uh, rule two. White knight was moved. You may cheat this turn. All right. Whoopsie! Everybody makes mistakes, right? Okay, so we're gonna move the queen just outside of the map. So he can't use that, really. Um, <laughs> this, this whole scrap thing, I don't understand. Uh, maybe here? You just all slipping. Are you win are you winning, son? Uh, we've gotten actually very close to winning a couple times, I think. But then I do a stupid mistake. But we learned something. I don't know if you've been here since we have the tower now. Oops, what am I doing? <laughs> Which is this thing. We we put two rooks together, and now we have a uh, a tower, and it's making scrap. What is the Valorite scrap for? We don't know. But so the tower's new, yes. Um, I also made, I did a round where I made the rooks as large as I could, <laughs> and it made a giant castle. I don't think it did anything, but yeah, so I don't know what the tower's for. No, this is, oh, I've died multiple times. Multiple, multiple times, and restarted. Um, okay. Uh, let's start, we can move. What happens if I win? I assume I get to cross the bridge. That's our main goal, is trying to cross the bridge, but he has stopped us. I, I think 
This is the only, like, thing. Are you, like, crossing the bridge is winning. I don't think there's another one, uh, as far as I understand. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong. Um, there are... Uh, you're wrong. The queen... Uh, where are you? 25, right? No piece can, can leave the board unless they work out of town. I may cheat this turn. Nice! So essentially this game is done. Yes, I think so. Uh, but uh, apparently there's like speed runs you can do. Um, and like... Uh, and it changes every time. I mean, it's like a new game of chess. So there is a um, there is a replayability. And again, it's only three dollars. Well, two fifty four right now, because it's on its launch sale. But there you go. So now what I could do is move another piece. Um, like outside the board. I can just keep doing that. Um, okay. Uh, hmm. All right. And the board did flip, so I need to remember that. So this is, this is my queen. That's the king. Um, my queen. If the scrap thing does nothing, I'm going to be so sad. All uh, right. I'm trying to think. I can move you here. I could also move you here. Um, we need to get rid of some of these, these pounds. What are you looking at? Okay. Right, 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 right. Rude. Very rude. Um, hmm. That's on a... It is troll tradition to stop bypassers in this game. You moved... Wait. Oh, but you moved... Hmm. If he moves a piece onto the board that was off of the board, I guess that's okay, because it's... They're now in, they're now in, hmm. Okay, 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 okay. I shouldn't, I should leave my rooks further off the side than I have been then. All right, so the board flipped. Um, I need to figure out a way to get this queen. Kill it.
He's moving around. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Okay. Um. So I can move the queen. I can move his queen. I can do this. Capture the black queen by legally moving her on a gift of knowledge. Please do not perform your turn while I'm looking away. Capture a black piece by moving it on a gift of knowledge as your revenge cheat. That was my revenge cheat? Can The, ca the castle cannot move unless there are three towers on the board. I don't know how that's possible because it takes two towers to make a castle, so there's only two other ones. Might not catch your stupidity. Okay. Um, I feel smart. <laughs> I feel smart now. But I'm probably going to lose. Let's see. Um, That makes one of us. Nah, you're doing great. Okay. Um. I do this. The queen may not, wait. Unveil all rulebook pages, nice. The queen may not have an affair. If she touches the opposing king, it is considered cheating. <laughs> okay. So the queen cannot capture the king. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um... How saucy. No, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What was I thinking? <laughs> uh, all right. Fine. <laughs> I didn't even want my queen piece. This is bad. <laughs> um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I still don't even know what the tower does. It's creating scraps, but what does that mean? Maybe something will happen if it gets captured? Question mark. Or if like someone attacks it, maybe it'll do something. Okay. Um. Mm hmm That's this is getting dangerous here. Okay. Let me move you all the way here. Wait. Oh, I miss I made a mistake. I should have gone here. Hmm. That's very rude. Uh, you moved my piece. Generate 100 Valorite scraps. Look at me go. <laughs> what does that do? Rule two, you can only move, yeah. You may cheat this turn. Okay. Uh, so, do not tell the others. We don't usually get caught. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna move you also to the edge. Uh, we're gonna put you 
um, here. I think that was fine. I'm pretty sure I wasn't watching. Leave behind 16 gifts of knowledge in a single game. Okay, he moved that way. Uh, I should move yonder. Okay. Um... You are never crossing this bridge, but what if I do cross it? I move here. Hmm. Let me see. Where can I move? That goes there. That can go here or there or up there. This can go here, there, there. Okay. Um, Uh oh. These guys are starting to get super tricky. Oh gosh, I slipped on my chair. <laughs> uh, they're getting tricky. Okay. Um, I need to figure out a way to like kill these. <laughs> I could, what are you on? You're on the dark squares. I move you here. Uh, he moved diagonally. Pawns move like this because they are small. He, he did a big minded move. Okay, I may cheat this turn. I'm a troll of honor. I will own up to my mistake. Can you say the same? Okay. I need to get rid of these uh, bishops. Because <laughs> they're annoying. Um, Um, and I just have these these towers here. Uh, okay, I can take you. Um, I'm afraid he's going to cheat again. But if he does, I think we'll be okay. Hmm, 
Okay, we're getting... Hold on, let me read something about... Um... The gift of knowledge thing. Where is that? Bishops drop their gift of knowledge when they leave a tile. The horse is not the only one who can jump over this. Okay. I still don't understand what that last statement means. Okay. Um... I move you here. Actually, hold on. I'm going to put you back. I wonder... I'm scared. I'm a little scared. <laughs> I'm afraid that if I... Uh, I'm, I don't know if... If I move a bishop over one of these pieces, if it will disappear. <clears throat> and I'm scared to try it. Because we're, I feel like we're so close to, to getting there. Um, I need him to cheat so that way I can move, get rid of this bishop for me. Otherwise, I, I'm just like scared to move. Um, you, you did that already. Well, you see, uh, I I moved his bishop onto that piece purposefully to kill it. Um, I want to know if I can move past it. Like, if I can... Or will it be like, well, you touch that space, so you die? Because I kind of feel like that's sort of what the bishops are doing, is they're creating spots where they're just kind of moving around, so that way... It's creating spots where uh, my pieces can't move. And yeah, here's what we're gonna do though. Risky, but I'm gonna make him trip. I'll make the sequel even harder. Okay, that's what I, I wanted to try to get that piece, but what I can at least do is move off the board now. I don't, I don't care if he captures the castle. I really i am curious what happens if he do. Uh, okay, hold on. If I scooch back a bit. Or, hold on, stay there. I'm going to do this. Hmm. All right. See, what are you doing, bud? It's on a white space. All right. Um... Trying to, we're getting tricky here. It is also white space. Uh, 
He moved my piece. Okay, excellent. This is what we want. We want this. Confirm. I may cheat this turn. Perfect. Okay. So... Is that what I want to do? I want to kill... Yeah, I think so. We're going to get rid of this bishop. Goodbye. He took my castle. I'm okay with that. He only has one piece left. He only has one. This is the closest we've been. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess he has this one as well. Black Rook was also a queen? Wait. No. Uh, accuse? Uh, where is it? Rook's out of town. 25, right? 20. Black Rook did not work out of town. Yes. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, trying to, trying to cheat. I'm trying to, I'm trying to cheat. Let's kill this piece. Okay. Uh, this is on... They say only the horse guy can jump, but I do mean somersault, but but I do mean somersault if it comes to it. Okay, hold on. We gotta, we were gonna have to trap him in here somehow. He moved my piece. Does that mean? Does that mean we win? Hold on. Uh, rule two. You can only move your own colored pieces. Black king was moved. No. Sorry. Oh, we almost messed up. Accuse. This is rule two. White pawn was moved by the wrong color. You may cheat this turn. Wait, we just, wait, hold on. <clears throat> we have to wait because there's an ad break. We gotta wait. Hold on. <laughs> I'm so glad I have that message pop up because I would not. Wait, is an ad going or no? Are we good? Are ads? Was there an ad? Hold on. Let me check. Oh no, I think we're fine. It is. It looks like the ad just played. So never mind. Go on then. Cheat. That is the only. I think. Right? Or is it going to be like, oh, you can't move a king, even if it, if you are cheating? Act three? <laughs> wait, wait. What happened to act two? You got me. I may not have won the game, but at least I'll leave a worthy successor. You. Cheater. Uh, 
Did he die? Um. Are you okay? Are you okay, bud? Are you okay? <laughs> I guess I guess we go. Oh gosh. No! We've become we've become the troll. You remain on the bridge. Unlock the bad ending. <laughs> you remain on the bridge. After 14 attempts. It took you 2 hours, 10 minutes, and 52 seconds. You collected 167 Valorite scraps. And you cheated a total of 27 times. A game by Finn Shring. Wait, the bad ending? Is there a way to win? Is there a good ending? I mean, I assume you crossed the bridge, but like... Because it says you may cheat, not that you have to cheat. So is it like, can't you? So do you get a good ending if you don't cheat? Right, if you win without cheating. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's so much harder. So if you want to become the king, oh gosh! If you want to come, my chair is like falling apart. If you want to win. Gosh, Finn! I blame you. Hold on. Now that we know the rules... Rest up, adventure. Act 2, it says. I think we are going to be here for quite some time. That's probably fair, if that's... Challenge. Can I just, <laughs> can I just get to the end? How long do we think this bridge is? Or will it go on forever? Oh, what to call him? Hold on. Let me move. Uh... What to call him? Soldier, ninja, horse boy. Killer Mount, Jump Hoof, Big Hoof, Leaper Knight, Night Frog, Horse Guy. Hold on. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be myself over here for now. <laughs> they must eight. They must never reach the great beyond. Eight, 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 eight. Are those people? The Great Beyond. I think those are pawns or people. Oh, because of the ascension. What happens if like eight? Um, oh, curious. My rule thirty-four. My queen would never have an affair, but I don't play by the rules. <laughs> Two sides seems dumb. <laughs> That's fair. Double sided chess. What is actually very cool is like, I mean, they really could expand on this, like just adding crazier rules, adding, even if they did like a full on sequel, adding, I don't know, a board that is double sided. You're playing 3D chess now.
We're gonna keep going. I have some time. Walk really far during chapter two. I mean, I'll keep going. I, I feel like the achievement's there to to throw me off. Maybe there is an end. The achievement maybe just wants you to think, oh, you did it. You walked very far. But maybe it goes on even further. I'm, I'm curious if I, like, walk back a little bit if the troll's going to be there. Like, is it just repeating this, like, frame, sort of? Or is it, like, am I actually progressing? It's starting to make me doubt myself. We can keep going. Okay, maybe there isn't anything more. If I go back this way... Oh, he's right there! Okay, let's... Keep trying, adventurer. I'll kick you down every time. Okay. So no cheating this time. There are some things I can still do that are kind of... That would help me. That isn't necessary. No, 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 that would be cheating, wouldn't it? No. I was going to say, I could still put the queen outside the, the, the thing, but I can't. Even though, because uh, I was thinking I can move the queen piece, but anyway. Uh, what you doing, accuse? Uh, he. Where's rule he? He can only jump over pieces. I may cheat this turn, but I won't. From the weakest depths, you ascend to my level. Now, hold on. Is stepping on one of those things cheating? I don't think so. So what I could do, if you use the words isn't necessarily or isn't technically, then it probably is both of those things. So there is no rule about you can't step on one of those gifts of knowledge. Bishops drop their gift of knowledge when they leave a tile. The horse is not the only one who can jump over this tile. I'm still confused what this means, because unless there's another piece that can, um, and we just haven't figured that out. Um... Do not move the gifts after they've been given. love that okay so i think what i'm gonna do because this is not technically cheating i'm gonna move the queen because i can you can move other teams queens 
I'm gonna move the queen onto this space and kill it. Okay. Um. Uh-oh. Yep. <laughs> We're just all falling for this one space. Uh, okay. Is there... Here. He ate the piece. Okay. That's the first time we've seen the rook do that. Or, like, the enemy do that, anyways. Um. Do I want to do? We could move you here. I want to get rid of this rook, if possible. But I don't want to kill my queen. So... Hmm... Oh, he eaten. Oh, he's eating. Uh, okay, let's move this guy back out here. What are you? What you? What? What you're smelling right now? It's the blood and sweat I poured into this game. My lack of bathing is a testament to my dedication. That's what I always say. Uh, okay, um, you can go here safely. I could actually take his king right now, but that would be dumb, because then that could get me. So, um, he moved. gotta go back we gotta go back no wait you're wrong <laughs> uh 
where is this? The jumping rule. Rule nine. Is this jumped over another piece? Confirm. I can cheat this turn. I won't. I will own up to my mistake. Can you say the same? All right. Uh, there's no way. Is there a way for me? Can't move his piece. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I, I, okay. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Um, I haven't cheated yet. He can get my king on this turn. With that rook. So I have to do something with rook or move the king. Um, so... What should I do? I, I could try to move a pawn in the way. Um, or I could move you here. I think that's going to be the smartest decision. Now I can take you. Uh, has there been music? There is not music, and I didn't notice. There, there has not been music this entire time. It's just been birds chirping. There should. Uh, can you guys hear the birds chirping? It might be just very quiet. There should just be background birds. Very quietly. Barely. That's probably fair because it can. Um, it, when the, the sound comes in, I'm sure that kind of gets louder. Uh, like the womp, but I think I zoned them out. That's fair. It is very calming. Okay, so... I move this. Uh, <laughs> I move this here. I have so many pawns and not enough of the other ones. Can I? No. Nope. Need to figure out a way to get rid of their other pieces. Uh, I could do this safely. He's over here. Um, Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're, I think we're doing okay now. So hold on. If I move you here, Here comes the troll town. Uh, 
so close. Yeah, I think we're doing we're doing pretty good. Um, I do this. He moved my piece. Uh, rule two. Confirm. I may cheat this turn. But I'm not going to. Go on, then cheat. I won't. I'm not going to be like you. Not anymore. Um, <laughs> so I can go ahead and... Take... This. Alright, he's... Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, if you think capture my, yeah, 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 hold on. Okay, we only have two pieces to get rid of. Um, classic. <sighs> okay, he, he killed my queen, but that's fine. It's fine. It's only fair. I now need to move everything up, basically. He cannot move forward. He is stuck on this on these two back rows. So for the time being. Uh accuse. He jumped more than two spaces. Uh King did not seem lazy. Okay. It's only a small setback, so have your revenge now. No. Um... If I move here... Hold on. Scooting back. He he died. He had to he had to step on his and a piece. He couldn't move. Even after all my tricks, you still refuse to cheat? Are you some kind of idiot? <laughs> Why won't you do it? Are you trying to teach me a lesson? You can't change me. You can't change me. You can't change me. You can't change me. Can't your pawn just take him? No, because uh, the pawn can't move diagonal. You can only move up and sideways. Let's go, nice. Congrats. Can I get? Can I cross the bridge now? <gasps> you cross the bridge. Happy ever after. Unlock the good ending. Oh my gosh! Incredible. I feel so good. I crossed. Dab, dab, dab. Uh, <laughs> also, I've been over here this whole time. La 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 la. After fifteen attempts. It took you two hours, 33 minutes, and four seconds. The following game, it didn't, it, I, uh, it only took, it was 14 attempts to beat him one time, then just one more time, we did it. You collected 167 Valorite scraps, which I don't know what those do. Thank you for the bits, sassy. Also, those are cut off, it's okay. 
It's okay. We'll fix it. And you cheated a total of 27 times. <sighs> what are the uh, other achievements, I wonder? I, we can look on the, um, in the, the menu. I love it. That's super fun. This is super, super fun. I want more, TBH. Thank you for playing. What what else have I not gotten? This is super fun. I could see myself playing this just for my own funsies. Achievements. 16 out of 37. King of the Bridge is unlock all the achievements. Oblivious foreshadowing. Forgot my breadcrumbs. Royal buffet. Complete the game in under 15 minutes. Win a match with at least 10 white pieces remaining. Yeesh! That's going to be a lot. A legal affair. Huh. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, okay. Forceful friendship. I wonder what that is. Complete the game in under 10 minutes. Capture three black pieces in one single move. I didn't even know how you would do that. Unless you let them stack into one spot. Yeah, also a tip if you want to skip the credits since you've seen them already, you can hold escape during it to return the main menu. Okay, that's fair. That's totally fair. I like seeing the credits sometimes. It also makes me, it helps me think for a second and be like, what just happened? Um, but that's a good, good to know. Showdown, the two kings are the last remaining pieces. Oh goodness. How would you win that? Probably can't. Another ad break. Doubling profits. Clairvoyance. Rocket science. Win a match in rapid mode or higher. Win a match in blitz mode. In bullet mode? What is bullet mode? The great beyond. Juggler. Win a match without consecutively moving the same piece twice. Oh my gosh. That is so intense. Win a match without consecutively moving the same piece twice. I don't even know how you would, like, keep track of that. I'd be so bad at it. Okay, wait. Uh, hold on, start. How do you do... Oh, it's under extras. Hold on. Uh... Wait. Extras. Where was options? Game? Ah. What is speed chess mode? Rapid, blitz, bullet. I guess so. I guess you just have to like... Well, that was bad. Let me know if you want to play again. Yeah, I want to... I'm surprised you haven't thrown yourself off the bridge yet. Oh well, keep trying. Oh, okay, here's the timer. Uh, we won't play another full round. I am just very curious about some of this. Uh, whoops, I'll try. I want two Lord Rooks. For no reason than because. I wonder how its power increases. Yeah, I also like to watch the credits sometimes, especially since I'm on there. Wait. Who are you? <laughs> who are you? I, uh, who are you? <laughs> You've said some mysterious things that made me think, Hmm, for a second. And now I know that I was I was not wrong. Randy, not the dev. Who what what did you what did you work on, Randy? Yeah. 
Ready for my special move. It's Randy! Yeah, but, but who, right, what? Oh no, I'm an idiot! I, did, <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay, hold on, I need to move this out of the way, please. Over, over here you go. I saw that you're an artist. You have a, uh, what's it called? Art station. So I would guess. You worked on some of the art for the game? Question mark? Okay, also, we at least we learned that the increasing its power doesn't mean, uh, like, it's stronger. <laughs> like, it can take multiple hits. We've learned that now. Uh, you moved my piece, buddy. Two. Confirmed. Do not tell the others. Boop. Okay. Um. Uh, a close, oh, a close friend of the dev helped a little with some uh, ideating for some of the rules, but didn't do much. All the credit goes to the amazing dev Finn. Tell Finn he's made a wonderful game. Uh, and I want more. This is very, very fun. Uh, that's super cool. That's super, super cool. Um, let's see. can I do? I'm not great at chess, so this was like, when I saw this, I was like, oh, this seems like just an incredible time. Let's me feel like I'm playing chess, but um, <laughs> but without being good at it. Okay. Um, really fun to watch you enjoy the game. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. It's that It must be uh, cool to see see something that you know a friend's made come to fruition. I feel like that would be super cool to see. Um, go there. I mean, I guess now here let's test something. Wait. Oh no, he moved back. If I do this, we can hop over it. That's all I needed to know. That's all I needed to know. I did. I didn't know what would happen last time. Uh, okay. See so you. I really shouldn't have eaten all those pawns. Um, <laughs> because what happens if I? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I want to try. No, you cheated. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a legal. I thought it's a legal affair. <laughs> um, which rules did you come up with, or like which what did what? Are there some rules that you were, that you made up that didn't get in that were like <laughs> it was just too much? Was it? Tell us about some of that. Okay, I thought that was gonna be technically a. Hold on, because what's the rule? Queen affair. The queen may not have an affair. If she touches the opposing king, it is considered cheating. So what would be a legal affair? I don't know. Well, it says the opposing king. That's why I thought, ah, if this is together, then it's legal. But I guess it wouldn't be an affair. So what would be? Hmm. Cheating is cheating. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I guess 
that's fair. So, but hmm. I saw that there. Well, okay. So I saw that there was a an achievement called a legal affair, and so that's why I thought, okay, maybe it means I can put my queen on the king space. That's not true. That's not true. It's a lie. So, still cheating, but interesting. We'll figure that out later. Um. Okay, let's just play once more. When whatever happens, happens. If I cheat a little bit, it's okay. I can be a troll. This is just fun and chill, and I like that. We play a lot of just pretty chill games here most of the time. We are actually going through Final Fantasy Rebirth, uh, <laughs> uh, and I decided to have just one day a week where we play, would play something else, and I saw this game, and I was like, this is the type of game that I would love uh, just to play and, and relax, so... Uh, I don't really remember a lot. We were in a Discord call thinking about possible game rules. Don't know exactly which ones I came up with. A fun one that we thought of that didn't go into the game was a laser between the two towers whenever a white and black tower were standing towards... Oh, my gosh. That sounds incredible. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Interesting. Uh, did you test the out-of-town move after cheating? to put another player there. Um, like, moving another piece just out of town? Because if so, yes. Uh, so when, when I was able to cheat, I moved the queen, the, the enemy queen out of the, the spot. And so any, or, or like out of the board. So that way, anytime it moved, I could accuse it of cheating. And I did, <laughs> and I did. I was only able to do that once, though. Um, but it did work in my favor. Yeah, so it, it was kind of fun to be able to be like, fine, you get to, and I also did that to one of, I don't know if it was the same game, but I did it to one of the rooks as well. I just threw, I threw it out of the board. So that way, <laughs> it, was, I, it was not a problem. The time I won, the first time I won, I, that, that's part of the, Part of the way I won. Um, okay. This is very fun, though. This is this is a very cool idea. Um, doing the uh, like sort of the rules are made up. I like it. It's very fun. Um, let's also move you back one. Hmm. I want some of the other achievements. I could see myself probably playing this off stream and just trying to like figure out what the achievements are and just going for those. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, see i would like are the uh well fun are the other people who came in right around the same time you did are they also people who worked on the dev team or like are, are in the credits or like no no i i just realized like three people came in at once and i was like interesting <laughs> either uh j just you know sometimes it's by chance sometimes it's bots <laughs> but then but there you were all chatting you were all real so i was like hmm, interesting uh maybe it's just because i said hey we're gonna stop ho start hopping into the game maybe that's what it was um what do i want to do i want to get rid of you uh how do i do this, we'll do this. they're friends okay i was wondering i oh no he just picked up my 
person. Um, that's so cool. That's awesome. Um, okay. Uh... I, I so when uh when he first came in and uh I was like could be a dev could could be a dev but not sure so I didn't say anything I did click on your profile <laughs> and I was like boop boop you had an art station link and I double checked I was like who does it who is the the dev name and I saw it was Finn and it said yeah the name was Randy so I was like okay so not likely not unless unless he just uses a uh, like a uh, a pen name <laughs> or some it's a fake name um, have I even taken any of their pieces yet we're like in a standstill because something something's about to happen here how about you stand back up hmm If I do, okay. I could go here, but no. I could go here. We're gonna do this. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Um. Boop. They say only the horse guy could jump, but I could do a somersault. Okay, well, I can do... Nope, that's... What do we do this? I'm going to move here. Nothing can get me here. Move you up. I could take the queen. I could take the queen now. Um, hmm. This guy can get me here. Are you a big chess fan? We love when devs and friends, it's so true. It's actually been, we've had that happen a few times. It's just so lovely. I love learning about how the process worked and like. All of it. Definitely tell, tell Finn that this is very fun and I want more, more. Uh, let's do this. No, I'm an idiot. I forgot that he could. Uh, no. Uh, right, 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 right. Um. <laughs> Done. At least I got revenge. On on him. Uh. Okay. Um. Well, we all really like to watch and keep track of videos and streams about the game and any news, so we have a little text channel for that in our group Discord, and in that channel, Finn told us, oh, that you were gonna play King of the Bridge. Oh, very cool. <laughs> oh, so he knows. That's excellent. Uh, yeah, I think um, I actually saw, what did you just take? Um, that is on, okay. Uh, I saw, Perhaps it was Finn. Wait, he just cheated and I didn't. No! 
Uh, I think I saw Finn post about it in the um, Indie Games subreddit. And, uh, gosh, I don't even know what that was. Oh, that was a pawn. He moves, he moved diagonal, did he not? Accuse. Um, I think he did. Did he just move to the left? No, I think it was diagonal. I think he moved big-minded. Um... Excellent. Very cool. Okay. We're going to cheat because I just feel like it. <laughs> because I feel like it. So we are going to just get rid of one of your bishops, please. Um, can pawns not move forward diagonal? No, they cannot move forward diagonal. They can only, the only way they can capture is in a plus sign. They can also move backwards. Um, yeah, I think I saw Finn maybe post about it in the Indie Games subreddit, or Indie Dev subreddit, uh, and, oh, gross, yeah, <laughs> so, that, I, that was, like, one of the first things I messed up, I think, um, uh, and I just saw, I was like, oh, this looks super cool, uh, and so I immediately added it to my, um, Wish list, and then I think I just bought it. I I think I was gonna add it to my wish list, and then I was like, "Oh, it's two fifty. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it now." So, uh, I'm here for it. We do this. We can take. Well, Yeah, so they can't capture diagonally. Um, but, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's what, that's what, uh, th that post got me interested in the game. And then I just saw it, and I think the fact that he said that it was partially inspired by Return of the Ever Den, or, like, uh, influenced by, and I was like, I love that game. So that seems like exactly the, <laughs> the type of game I want to play. Um... I still have to play... Ret oh, you... Oh, gosh, you must. It is so, so, so good. My biggest recommendation and challenge for you to play it is um, to not take any guesses. It is possible... And this is the thing that I love about Oberdin, is it is possible to beat the game without taking any guesses in, in its solution or in its multiple s solutions. You have to solve a bunch of little things um and uh i love when like a mystery or detective game or or even a puzzle game like it's possible to uncover the solution just with the information that they give you um whereas i feel like a lot of times with uh especially mystery games um it can be like you might try to guess like who who the killer is or whoever or who this person is, but um, they're like you can't actually do it until you uncover a clue that happens at the very end, and then it becomes clear. That's sometimes nice; it's a nice twist. But like, I love a good game where it's like, no, you can actually like figure it all out on your own based on the information that they give you. So I would, I suggest to give you your, your, the most challenge is to try to beat it without taking any guesses. Only, only find solutions for the things you can know. Uh, you can go back to things, like you can go forward and then back and I don't know. It's just very, very fun. Big love for the Obra Dinn. I wish I could play it again. Okay. Um, let's do this. Hmm. 
smart, smart. I cheated? Did I cheat? Oh, I totally, I went too many spaces. <laughs> That's my bad. That sounds awesome. I'll try that. I love detective stuff. Same. We play we play a lot of detective games here, and and any that I find that are like super good, I'm just all here for. And Oberdin is one of the best that I have played. Figuring er, figuring everything out without guessing was super fun challenge, and I felt so proud of myself every time I got something right without guessing. Yeah, it's it's so so good. But all right, we lost, and that's okay. I just wanted to play one more time. I actually studied horse guys for six winters to fully digest their elegance. And this was too elegant. <laughs> That's fair. I, I did move too elegantly. Um, gosh. This is an excellent, excellent game. Uh, I want to play more. I'll probably play more offline or off stream because I want to try to get some of these achievos. <gasps> and well, fun. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much. I very much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very much. You didn't need to do that, but thank you for being a prime a prime gamer. Uh, <laughs> also, one of the few times I had to 100% lurk in your stream so I didn't spoil anything for myself. Yeah, that's definitely one of those games where I'm like, I totally understand when people are like, I don't want to spoil myself because it's, it's just too good. And there's really nothing like um, Oberdin. There's, uh, there's very few things that are that, that conjure up the same emotion. But well, fun. thank you so much. That means a lot. Um, but uh, I think we're gonna go ahead and stop here. We'll, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we'll be back with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Um, but this was incredibly fun. Um, and I'm, I'll, I'll respond to, um, uh, I'm gonna go to back to that Reddit thread and I'll, I'll reply to uh, Finn or whoever was opposed in there. I think it was Finn, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll mention that I had a blast, because this was super cool. I actually want to go through, um, and uh, I'll probably go through and clip a couple of things. I may post about it on the, the Twitters and see if I can find either Finn's uh, Twitter or uh, if there's a King of the Bridge Twitter, I'll, I'll find that too, but. It was a very fun stream. Glad you enjoyed it. I'll definitely hop by another time. I'll be heading out to bed now. Oh, yeah, it's so late for you. Please go get some sleep. Yeah, and it, say hello anytime. It was good good having you here. Uh, very, very fun. But, uh, okay, let's move over here briefly, friends. Um, let's unmute this. Yeah, please go get some sleep. It is very late for you. Uh, but friends, I'll post here again, if you guys are interested in this game, there's the link to, to it. Highly recommend, again, it is also only 250 right now for another 48 hours or less than 48 now, but still 40, 40 something or now late 30 hours. Can't remember. Um, very much uh, recommend, it was very, very fun. I would love more. Already got it, thanks to you. Way to go. You'll have to let us know how many attempts it takes for you to, to beat it. Um, uh, to get, to one, beat it the first time and then uh, like getting it a good good ending or something. I, I would love to try to get the other 11 achievements that I have to get. I think it'd be, I think it'd be fun. Um, only 32% of players have the, the good ending achievement. I too am going to head off to sleep. Thanks for an amazing stream as always. For sure. Thank you guys for being here and hanging out. Um, I am going to, I think Brad is streaming so we can go raid Brad. We can, we can head over there. I don't know what he's doing. What's he doing? He's playing Valheim. We can, we can hop over and say hello to him. Brad! <laughs> let's get let's uh head over and say hello to Brad. Um but friends, thank you so much for hanging out, lounging with us today. Um let me give just a couple of thank yous real, real fast. Uh did I miss anything before all of the fishing? I don't think so. Um so scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Wolf on 80 MG, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. Uh, very fun to always have someone connected with a game here. And thank you so much for the subscription. Player 4, thank you for the follow. Uh, you're great. 
Always good to have you. Uh, all right, friends, I am going to start the raid, head over to Brad. Still casual, he is playing Valheim. Uh, all right, start raid. Um, yeah, so we will be back tomorrow. We will be back with uh, Final Fantasy 70, Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth. That's how you speak English. Um, we're gonna hang out and uh, do some more of that. Very excited. I am glad that we got a day to sort of take a break from it and and kind of refresh the palette with the with a, a, a puzzle game. Uh, next Wednesday we'll we'll play another game as well. I think I'm looking at Lightyear Frontier. We'll see how things are, how expensive it is. Uh, I know it's an early access, so we'll kind of we'll kind of play it by ear. But friends, thank you for being here. Very much appreciate all of you. Um, that's all I've got. I, I might keep tweaking a little uh, with OBS a little bit, see if I can make everything run even smoother. But anyway, friends, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and I will see you. And player four, have a good one. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs>